The views expressed by guests on this podcast are their own, and the appearances on the program does not imply an endorsement of them or any entity they represent. While we will not add statements made by a guest, we reserve the right to exclude statements or remarks that might be considered inflammatory. Thank you. Welcome to Permacal Memories Podcast. I am Lance, our jelly, our prince, as most Permacal people would know me. My co-host is Philip, or any, or any foul, as most Permacal people would know him. Our mission on this podcast is to explore our Permacal, a small community in the Kingston 20 era, surrounded by Marvale, Jerusalem, just across the Washington Boulevard, Patrick City, just across the Sandy Gully Bridge, and Arlene Garden became the epicenter for football or soccer, as some people know it, in the early 1970s. Permacall was also home of some of the most legendary entertainers and musicians of that era. I was still going to Permacall Primary when every single Sunday a triple header was held. One morning match and two evening match was played to a capacity crowd at the corner of Permacall Drive, now Kennel Drive, and Calvick Avenue. These teams, Patosi Rovers, Carawina, Asphalt, Kobe, Elferto, and Dreads were joined, was joined by Marvel Uenden to play in the Permacall Corner League tournament. And every baller in Jamaica at the time wanted to play in a Permacall Corner League to showcase them skills as the first officially organized football tournament in Jamaica. In these conversations, we hope to capture the memories of players, supporters, and any member of the Permacall community, male or female, who want to come and share their stories. Your feedback and support will be greatly appreciated on whatever social media platform you might be listening. Thanks in advance. Today is Wednesday, April 3, 2024. And welcome back to another conversation about Permacall memories. Me as usual, Lance, our Prince, our Jelly, and any one of those names will do. Joining me tonight for this very special conversation is a man, is the man who started this conversation with me. And we know each other from what idea we need at Calvick Avenue from back in the 60s. Philip, or any, or any foul. Also joining us tonight is the man who was instrumental in making this special conversation possible. Andre Taylor Danville, and he has been part of this conversation from episode number three. And you should go back and listen to Andre from Bacall Memories in his own words. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe while listening on episode number three. And, and that link will be in the description to it of this podcast. We had a co host should have joined us, but I just introduce him saying, I'm now coming tonight, Rural Tumpa Kamika. And when we tell him, say, I'm part of command tonight. I don't know how I'm going to make it, because I remember this man just like me. Just the name alone, the unusual nickname. When Ed Barnes <laughs> called the commentary from, from Santos, and I said, what I? <laughs> so it's a pleasure. But, all right, when we go in and continue, because Trump won't be here, but I have to big him up the same way. Ever since we started doing this from McCall conversation, we have been pondering why from McCall, the home of the original Ghana League in Jamaica, and despite being in minor league in the, in the 1960s, never became a football powerhouse in Jamaica, like our sister community from the East. And both communities were constructed about the same time, Arborview in the East and Permacall in the West. So tonight, our guest, who is a foundation member of those great Arborview team in the 1970s, has great such a content to come and share his success story at Arborview and to see if I see what I'm the difference between the, the contrasting stories of the two communities. <laughs> Our guest was born in Alman Town and spent his early days in Vineyard Town and moved to Arborview in early 1960. He attended Arborview Primary and that famous North Street School, whose winning mentality is second to none, where he played Colts and Manning Cup. He started playing for Santos while still attending Kingston College in 1971. I won the Division 1 knockout versus Cavaliers. He also won minor league trophy for, with Arborview in 1971 and in 1974. 
um, the Major League title. At runners up in a National League. And now the Major League. Now in 1974, Arborview decided to organize and enter the Kasafa Major League competition. While playing for Arborview, they won two major, two major league titles and was runners up in the National League once. He held several positions at Arborview, captain, technical director, coach, manager. He now lives in the US with his wife of 42 years. Congrats, my brother, that's a long time. Yeah, definitely. And has three children and three grandchildren. <laughs> but without further ado, and long before Ghana's Silk, Silk Seminal song say we should look to the east. I always <laughs> admire the stars nah, from the, the east. <laughs> when we go watch National League match in the late 70s and early 1980s, the Promocard members welcome the foundation member from the stars from the east, Michael Fatai Thompson. Mikey, introduce yourself, my brother. Greetings, greetings, man. Greetings, greetings. Yeah. <laughs> greetings. Glad I could be here, you know? Yeah, man. Glad you're there, man. Glad, glad you're there. And um, Andre, introduce back yourself, my brother. Yeah, man. Greetings, Hatai, my big brother. Welcome, yeah. I. <laughs> I we, we are very, very excited. You and I talk football whenever we link up, and as the last time in Jamaica in 2022. Right. Um, you, you gave me some nuggets, and 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 Lance, I've been saying since even prior to then that boy, it's important to get you on to to see what we have not done right in Pembroke, you know, in terms of <laughs> mm -hmm. um, managing the, the the soccer history to bring it to where Harbour, the heights that Harbour View has attained. But. I am Andre Taylor Danville, and I my family moved to Pembroke Hall in late 1961 when I was a toddler, and I spent my 16 years in Jamaica in that community. I left at age 16, right in the middle of my final minor league season, and migrated to New York, and I've been in the U.S. for 47 years, and so. I am so excited about tonight's conversation with my big brother. Yes, Phil, your time. Yeah, Phil, go ahead. Yeah, first and foremost, let me welcome Michael Thompson, a.k.a. Mr. Fatai, to the program. As Jerry said, long overdue. And I'm none other than Philip Any, a.k.a. Phil, or Any Fowler, originally Primba Carl Man, of 27 years. I uh, went to Primba Carl Primary, and from there, Kingston College. The great Kingston College. Let's not leave that out. The great Kingston College, yes. Yeah, man. The greatest school that in the Caribbean and one of the greatest schools in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we said, Premba Carl, dear and always near to art. And my question, as we may always I say, even where Abbeville is concerned, how come Premba Carl started the thing and we couldn't sustain it throughout when Abbeville was able to do it and still doing it? I even did that dear Mr. Santos now I look forget for them program back on track. So and at them sixtieth anniversary, I think at this year, yeah. Yeah. So so what is it? I, I my my thing tonight is I want to see where we went wrong. And probably you can shed some light on that because really and truly it it's it inexplicable. It's no we are a community where start the football, competitive football thing. Should I just feel that we're like that? Much less for not even win one trophy. So I look forward to hearing your insight, my brother. Well, I want to reframe what you said, Phil. It's not where we went wrong. I want to know what Arborview did right. That's right, that's right. Which, is, which will point out where we went wrong. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, pull yeah. off of the politics <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I spent too much time with DeSantis this week. I mean, notice you're sharp on your political job there. Up to, up to. Yes, so Mikey. <laughs> yes. The first question, let me get out of the way now. The nickname. What I, where that come from? I watch my two, I'm on punching IPS. You, you sat close, you know. When I was growing up uh, as a youngster, we, we were playing on the street side, and one of my neighbors, um, sister, we were messed with her. She would sweep up the place, and we were messed with her. And she'd take up the broom and shake it after we. And I like, answered it up on the broom, so I get by my eye and swell up. Mm. <laughs> and you know, you know, Jamaican, <laughs> just stick now, what yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, that was the name, Stick. Yeah, just Stick. But growing up, some people, even when I play, some people write that paper, fat I, and them spell it I. 
Yeah, <laughs> just one letter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, well, you know why? Start. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that are that are the Rasta culture. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I and I, yeah, I Rasta I, for right. I, I know for some reason I feel that it all. Me almost. Me never see a player yet in terms that say. Me not remember if I'm a free, but when me visualize the name, it's like me vision you as a dreadlock. When I play the okay. album, you. Okay. That, was that no. correct? Are you cut the lap? No. No, I never, never dread that. You know what? You have Afro like balance, but I never dread that. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay. We're getting at that, man. So, what year, where you moved to Abba View in 1960? How old were you? Oh, gosh. I was uh, 10, 9, them age, around them age there. Okay. I'm a young boy, yeah. When, when I end up, uh, my father and DV, father was good friends. That's a, Dan of Anil. Dan of Anil. Yeah, man. We live next door each other, we go out of your school and play together and, and everything and go up there. We go KC. Mm -hmm. I want to give you a story to it with DV. DV and I we were there uh, uh, um primary school, out of your primary school. We them they used to have this foot this boots, them cup time. And if you know the boots, them cup time, like a booty, and it used to have numbers and colours. Mm -hmm. And then you used to get a little book with it and tell you when you take two punch, you use one. Side yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we are guy that's to kick in the ball properly. Yeah, yeah. So we decided some boy we want to buy one. So we decided to save a lunch money every day, every day, man. I was saving money. So summer come now. I'm going down at the store. So boy, we're gonna buy a football boot. So we go in and take out the money, the man. So boy, this guy only buy one pair of boots, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you know, me used to rule right foot and DV was left foot. So we'll buy the one oh, pair. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't want to be a man, I will share it, man. If you take the left of it, take the right. That time we still have a primary school. <laughs> yeah, man, we still have a primary school. Yeah, but that's a history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what that tell me? Mm. How determined the two of you were. Because at primary yeah, age, and you are think like that for save money for buy something, mm -hmm. it's very rare you find somebody at that age that studied them type of mentality. Oh. Choo choo, choo choo, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Serious about the football. So, like, in that time, we'll yeah, both to Andre. Billet boat in a tiger. Yeah, man. <laughs> From tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so for the record, Fatai, give me the give me the geography of Arbor View in terms of say, what part of Arbor View, north, south, east, west? All right. Arbor View, you have the, 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 the eastern side, if you know, over, them is called it over the river. The people in Modena. Yeah, side, yeah. Um, the people on the other side call we over the river also. <laughs> but if right. you have a further east across the river, that's over the river. They have below that close to the beach is Caribbean Terrace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we we close up on the hill there you now, inside you now, over the other side, the first side from airport. Mm -hmm. that, that's the close side to um up on the hill there. So that's where this the eventually is the compound. That's where the field. Yeah. So if you come from the airport, first place you book up at the roundabout there is the Arbor View side. That's the east side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As there are people that would have called over the river side. <laughs> so over the river wasn't half of you at all then? Yeah, man, it's all, all half of you. It's, all, it's just that bridge. Oh, the, the bridge, bridge, the, okay. bridge the, right. inlet, the inlet will separate them. Right, right. The bridge just Because that other side I got to Bull Bay. Correct, yes. But all right, all of you. All right, all of you. Yeah, man. Okay, so how far over from, after I go over from the, the east side? How far east it go? It go past, I don't know if you have the old Arbor View driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that, that's where it, it, it end over this and then further out when you see St. Benedict's Church, that's a bull bay. Okay, okay. So the bar up on the east of bull bay, that call it there. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, got bull bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And from the north side, you say hill, that's the famous Warica Hill. Warica Hill, the right there, so wow. we used to run go tow and thing. It's about the tow. The people live up there now, me understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, well, it's time, time I'm going to do that, you know, the evolution of time I'm going to do that. Mm. And from the other side now, from the west side of Arbor View now, what about that? Mm -hmm. Was it a cement company? Uh, well, you never have no house as far as cement company, but call it that. Yeah, guy, call mm. it that way. If you, the last house is Arbor Drive. Arbor Drive, you go up a little hill there. Yeah. But that's the third hand. It ain't right there, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and we know it's upon the south side of the sea and the road will carry about your place. Right. Right, 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 right. Hello, right. hello. So, so, for the geography in terms of how big you think Arbor View was compared to Pembrokeal or even, well, but me was Pembrokeal, because that's where we come from. What the size like? Coming up familiar with Arbor View like you? I, 
honestly can't give a, 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 a good idea because I don't know fully about Pembroke's size, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you know, the same position. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Right, right, right. I would have said Pembroke is smaller. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, th- I would agree. Yeah, I would man. Agree with that. Based on the I've been, I've that's been that's to Arbor View several times, and uh, uh, Arbor View a bigger community for Pembroke. Yeah, you yeah. think the first, the first side of Arbor View maybe is about where Pembroke is then? Ah, uh, the side okay. over on the right over the, the bridge that The poor yeah. side coming the from Windward. Right. Coming from the airport. That's yeah. with the Pembroke yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the east side. Okay. Yeah, where the stadium there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, and talk about that then, Mikey. Which part of the mm-hmm. stadium there in terms of under the hill? Because I didn't know the field there above you, but tell the truth. Uh, yeah, the stadium under the hill. So, let me get a little genesis about it. When, when, when I moved up of you, we never have no stadium. We never have no field. We had a little park, what we call Aqua Park. It's a little diamond like a little triangle. That's yeah. where they, um, we don't know if them days they, they have the mobile um, library bus. Yeah, yeah, man. That's we have the cars. Yeah, right. yeah. But that's where the bus used to come park. So, Man used to the boy leave school, you, you tell your parents you go go to the library and you come out, you go play a football with us. And the girls them used to come watch it and tell them parents you go play the library <laughs> and let them come. But all that feel that used to run now is that we from Arborview, the little boy them used to go early and go play because that's the only feel we have right now in Arborview. Mm-hmm. We go there and play early, early, and then now when the big man them come in, Billy Perkins, Nigel Goodison, and all them big man, the Muggy Graham, and all them man, they come, you have to leave them, start pick them sides. So, or you can get a game now, the little man, is if a man no come, a big man late, and you get a game. Now, DV, nobody never want to keep goal. DV, they love going to the goal. So that's how he end up a keep going. They never used to partial them, kick it out at him, man, and used to go feet and dive feet. <laughs> so DV star is end up in the goal. So that's how that start, and then now eventually we had a little piece of land down near the gypsum part, go down like that. Yeah, go down towards the seaside there. Eh? Yeah. yeah, a little piece of land, but but it, it is mostly sand. It mm-hmm. is sandy, sandy. So we'd have something down there, go and play, go and play, and things. So those were where we used to play football and thing. When we enter minor league, because as you, mem- you mentioned, the so Premier League will win minor league. Them between us, uh, six to eight. Why not? Right, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Them days, uh, them did have man like Doc McKenzie. Yeah. Or yes, Knight. Yeah. I used yeah, to. Yeah, the confirmation go, jelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used, used to go um excess. Any name again? Um, Punkinani. Punkinani. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Macam play for that team there too. Yeah, Macam, yeah. I think, yeah, I well, think well, Chaplin, we are, Chaplin may have been a, on that team as well. Chaplin. Okay. Bertis Bell, they play for Arbor View them days there too. Shani, okay. Shani, yes, Bertis Bell, Devil Bell. Mm-hmm. He's brother Shani, the captain of the team. You have a youth named Vernon Bell, you see Excel, so he died now. So, I mean, if you know about Vernon. Yeah, but I know Vernon Bell, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Not Vernon Blair, sorry, Vernon Blair. Blair. Vernon Blair, okay, no, I Blair. Don't, not Blair. familiar. Yeah, yeah, I have Paul no. McDonald, Leslie Grant, Bertram Beckett, the man is to play, play for that team there. But when it, at, uh, at um, the end of the game, they scored a tie, so it's going to overtime on the beat way. Mm-hmm. So, Premier Carl, the beat way, and win the minor league that year there, 68. Yeah. So, after that, now, we go on and play, play the next year, we never, we never win, but 70, I think it's 71, 72. Them time they, me and DV and uh, graduate from um, Arborview, so we got KC them days, because DV, they play upon the 70 team with KC, Owe Bell and them on there. Ah. So 71 now, when um, jumping the coach, um, KC them time them. Um, um, and, well, a little before that, me play calls for KC. With a great Donovan Magnus man, that's my mm, bridge. Maya, Danny Maya, yeah, 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 yeah. But when when we play a course, I'm used to call him skill in the making. <laughs> so that's how good he was. <laughs> but yeah, but man, Jerry, you see another confirmation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me, I tell you, in my estimation, Maya probably the best thing come out of Premba call homegrown. Yeah, my my are good man. Well, fa- you know, well, fat, I never said that still enough. Yeah. So well, I got down that say. <laughs> no, well, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> me, I tell you, the man is dangerous, man. The man, if you know football, yeah. I know if you look for in terms of skill no, man, we, we, and we, ball we intelligence. Maya skill, man. Yeah. yeah, man, Maya is dangerous. We're bridging that. So me and me and Maya play a cold and thing, and then we go up the Manning Cup. But anyway, we leave now seventy one for for minor league. Jumping never want to play in a minor league because he wanted the football's manning cup and things. So 
him, him suspend DV because DV chief out of Australia. And then now we're at the team had a big vote. He put it, say, so put it to a vote. Because it was me, DV, Pablo Robinson, Ed Lamb, four away from the team, play for our view. So he never want to leave. But anyway, put it a vote and say, so the man him said, two man can go. DV alone, them votes. So DV leave and we play. So we play some game with all away and some without. Eventually, long story, we won the minor league that year there. Mm. We beat them, um, I think it was. Um, what them place? So I feel like one of them things. Anyway, so after we won minor league that year, the following year we play again and we won again. So this does know where Kasafa management had changed, um, and they have decided. You know, first time it was um division one football was division played. Division one and two, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Santos mm -hmm. and all them team there. So Kasafa decided they want commit change to come into football. So they invited um, Arborview as one of the team. Well, we accepted the invitation, but we told them that we're not going to play the first year because we're not ready. So what happened now, the, 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 the management of Arborview, before we found we had a nucleus of people who coached the team, Eric Golden, Terence Slater, Carvel Stewart, Piggy and them on them. So they called out to all the them who play for Santos, Cavaliers, Real Money, and them. So guys, we need to come home because we enter major league. So everybody decides, all right, we'll come home. So all of us leave the different clubs we'll play for and things and come back home. So what they did that year, they scheduled about 30 different practice games. We, not, we don't have no feeling. You know, got come yeah. home. They, they never set up fully. Me tell right. you, never qualify. Right. So we, 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 did, we go all through Jamaica. We never lose a game. Then the time they had Archie, Lick of Skill, Russell Bell, I think Conrad did play them time there, you know. Balance. Balance, Conrad Mullins, yeah man. So we got we toured the island, different different um parishes and things, and play the top team them in each parish and we win those games. But then for us to enter the, the um yeah. the major league, we had to have a field. So the Citizen Association, have a view, and the council and Matelan, them come to some agreement and up a compound where that was where Matelan had them um, all his, his, his thing for the building, material and yeah, yeah. construction and bulldozer, whole bulldozer part and all kind of stone and rock and thing up there. So we had to clean it up. So for the whole year now, uh, that's where we go. We eventually make one part of the field. It was going from north to south, you know the field go right now from east to west. Mm -hmm. So it was north to south, cut off a little piece where we could have cleaned up earlier, so we could have done a little practice. But the rest of it, we had to get both. Fortunately for we, we had some man who used to work with um, gypsum and them place and drive bulldoze and things. So they borrow it sometime and rent it and we go clean up the field. Because sometimes you start, you know, you see a little pebble. And yeah, try to dig it out, dig it out. By the time you're done, it's a big boulder. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah Turn a boulder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to... Oh, yeah, go up in the hill. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to clean up, tear off a piece of the hill, make more space and thing, you know. So with the whole year, while we have um, practice little side field and tour up on weekends, we used to clean up the field. But when we are touring up, everybody in the community comes to Fort Reed because we used to have... A, some bike man we ride with flag. It's like we have a, a, a guard, guard of honor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the whole community wow. support me, you know. So, when we started out, we never have no whole for money either. So, we used to do back the drive. Mm -hmm. so, the whole community, people used to stand up at them gate and wait and give a back landing and things. So, some of the fundraising thing that's that's what we used to do and things. So, anyway, we eventually get it, get into the arm. Um, the, the, the major league thing, you know, fix up the field and thing. The first field we had to mark to save and have the body for P and thing. So we decided to rope it off and mark it up and thing. And we played the first game we played was against um Nasibento we beat them four. Mm -hmm. So we, we won the won the zone. We won our um our zone. Yeah, the different team. zone, yeah, in the middle league. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So the first team when we but one is on now, we had to go to um qualifying round that was played at the stadium. So you know them used to use the stadium a lot them time. They yeah, say, you yeah, know, yeah. Make a at the stadium. We'll cut that out now. So anyway, the first game we had at the stadium was against Pembroke Hall. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to tell you the score, but 
In a way. <laughs> I hear about no, that man. Tell it me the story. I hear about the it story. Was somewhat laps, it was somewhat lopsided. I remember <laughs> No, man. Don't be afraid to share that, man. Well, we'll, we'll be... No, no, no we're not going to carry a caress. <laughs> we'll beat them 7-1. So, Jumpy score a hat-trick. Russell score a hat-trick. I forgot who, who scored the, the, the other one. But we'll beat yeah. them 7-1. So, you know, we, we, we eventually won that qualifying round and, and go up, and I think Boyle's down with B3, and then go through to the final, so win it. Mm-hmm. So, that is the genesis of uh, Arborview. When, when, when we decided to enter the um, major league, the major league, we formed the club where um, we had um, people like Terence Slater, I think it was Treasurer, Vin Blaine, Vin Moore Blaine was um, president, yeah. um, Carvel Stewart was treasurer. Piggy Ronald, Piggy Chung was um, yeah. the manager, Derek Golden was um. And, and, and let me ask you a question, Pat. Can I allow you to talk because I had mentioned some things that all of them on there, not the foundation mm-hmm. deals, them live on half of you? All of them. Every, every one of them. Wow. Every one, all of them grew uh, The great thing about what half of you did at that time, all of them grew up as, 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 as youngsters in half of you. Mm-hmm. Every one of them. And they were fear of the young Yes, they were fairly young men. Cause even Russell who played for we, he used to live over Zenith Avenue, in the Harbour View. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. You know, so all the man, they, them live Harbour, every one of them live Harbour View and grew up together, you know, grew up from, from youngsters. Uh, uh, um, some of them are like older, 10 years older. Right. So they, all of them right. together. Right. I, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you. you see, Jelly, you see to your point where you ask a while ago, if you listen to what I said earlier, that really caught my attention when I said, when them decide to play, all of them come home back to Arbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if that don't tell us that the man them really love Committed. them community, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. The sacrifice was made. Yeah, yeah. Is that a big yeah, man. If, if, if there's not one member I can think of that them re- reach out to and, and ask them to come home. Clyde Jordan was at Cavaliers, Archie Richard was at Cavaliers, Ita Stewart. Me, DV was at Santos, Pablo Robbins, you know, all of us decided to boy, Shani was at Real Mona, and everybody said, I'm on, because this is something we had dreamt about for years, because we played different, different little competition, you know, we played little minor league, and they had some other different competition we played in, pick up for our view, but we never have an organized team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so now, when the club farm and get together, you know, those, those members, Sort of be the nucleus, them them in the background doing all the work and thing, make sure they feel all right and thing. So a couple of the things that I think sort of keep all of you together is one is that when when we when we meet as a team, every every home game, every not only home game, sorry, every game we had, we used to meet as a team. We always meet up and have lunch. Yeah. We take time out from work. We used to meet at this place, if you know, named Piccadilly down by um, Vineyard Town. Yeah. That's the restaurant we used to meet, Piccadilly. And then eventually we get it where we, we had a cook from half of you and we meet at somebody else and that's how we eat lunch. But every game we meet at that team. So it's not like, say, you wonder where fat are, where yes. they are balanced. Yes. Everybody, yes. Knew, everybody at, at the house are at wherever we meet. And, and that team. speaks to the commitment. Right. And we leave as a team to go play the game. Whether we play up a uh, compound or we play in a stadium or away. We we'll always meet. Go yeah. ahead. No, but may I have to stop. Have, because I mentioned something earlier, too, which dra- the first thing you said to me was there, when you decide not to enter the year. Yes. That was that was to me profound. Because you say, you know what, I'm not like on a bother, but you're not telling her ready. More right. I know who decides say. Uh, which one? Who provided the leadership for the side for the community? Say, on the night and the, why, on never war, the night of why, no more I play. Where the leadership Piggy, that come from? Piggy, Piggy and Carvel decide. Uh, Piggy, so give, I, me, give, me the, give me the right name, Piggy. Ra- Ronald Chung. Ronald Chung. You know, Patrick Chung, Patrick Chung used to play football for um, Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. For, for, for father, for me, father and Sophia George, mother. The yeah, they're married. Yeah, Sophia Judge, girly, girly. Yeah, okay. yeah, man, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, yeah. But many man was a Patrick Chung. What? That means to say, suppose to get some Patriots game tickets. <laughs> they say the great, great, the great Tom Brady player. <laughs> so, 
So um, you have Piggy and, and Carvel them this size so when you're ready. Because and Carvel Stewart, I tell you. Carvel Stewart, Daddy yes. Stewart, yeah, Daddy, yes. And how old, so, for the record, for the record, um, Fatai, how old was them man there compared to you? How old, much older? They were maybe about 10 years older than me. 10, maybe 10, 15 years older than me. So we were fairly young and all of us grew up. We used to play football together and grew up together, you know. Yeah. But the man just had the insight and, and, and the way to have the vision. They have the vision long yes. time. Because, yeah, the vision was there. Because because that thing where you say about eating together mm -hmm. as a team is very important. Because that is something where Pep takes serious with the team. Because mm -hmm. it, it creates a, a band where yes. solid as a rock, man. And as you mentioned, band, you see that thing where I tell you, so we never play and we travel to over 30 at um, places we play every weekend. Right. That's yeah, a yeah, solid yeah, band. Yeah. That was a, that's every weekend we're there together. Sometimes we stay overnight at a hotel and we stay together. That was a solid band, I tell you. Yeah, man. The, Gro grow well so synchronized. Yeah, man. So, 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 so much let me ask another question about that part. It's a piggy and ital. The man that have football experience or administrative experience and know the vision and what I'm put in place. Well, Carvel is an engineer. He, 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 used to, he went to school in England. So okay. he was familiar with the um, Premier League or whatever they call it. At that the time. Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was familiar with that because he's the one who basically is there now running everything. He's now the chairman. And he's the, he's the, the, the person who get the field to where it is now. Where, and I will tell you a story how we get to that, that level where, with the field. So Carvel is the brain just behind that part. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 so so where me him again? Jeredini. Clyde, Clyde, Clyde. Yes. Yes. He's a general manager. Okay. Yeah, Clyde is general manager. Vin Blaine not here anymore though. No, Vin Blaine. I think the last place I don't remember. I know he had a big contract in some country as a technical director. Okay. So, you know, he used to coach the girls team. He used to coach the female team and some of them and them and retire. Him retire. Ah, ah. So, so yeah. there was no question about no lack of respect for the man. Them. Anything with the man them say, everybody just do. Oh, oh yes, yeah, man. Every, every player respect them, man. Them. Every player respect them, man. The yeah, unit is strong. Yeah. yeah, man. But the, 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 because you could have seen the vision, and you know, when we sit down and talk it through, talk it, you could have seen where, where we are going. You could have seen there was a light down the road, you know. Yeah, it's a clear but, vision. Yeah, you know, the vision was there where we want to get. Because I can tell you, when when we are grew up without even compound being there, we used to sit down on the street corner and vision ourselves with street lights. We never know that it happened. We sit down and say, boy, we want to steal with street lights and have this and have that. So, yeah. you know, that, that and that is from me and Devi and the man that we sit down on the corner from primary school days. Mm. You know, so those are some things we talk about and things and eventually it come 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 to fruition. Yeah. So Spatai, it sounds as if that um it's not just an order that 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 piggy them come out with. It, it was a discussion. Yes. And yes. and the, the entire vision was laid out so you could really see the right. long range right. plan. And, right. And and could buy into it. Yes. Because when we got the invitation from Kasafa, we accepted it right away. Yeah, but we tell them say, boy, we're not ready yet. We can't we're not going to play this year, we play the following year. And everybody talk about and say, we want the man them come home because we have to give players time to come home and, you know, and get back cohesion as a team. You know? so we were, each of us was playing different places. We weren't playing as a team. We come maybe some weekend and we pick up one another and play up on the road. You have road football or we go down aqua or wherever. We could have find one another. Sometimes we had a little competition. We enter as a team and pick up man and pick up your friend. Or so. But we never play as a team as such until then. Yeah. So no, so no man never complained, said no, no, nah, come on, man, because Santos are paying too much money. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 never. If, if everybody, everybody was excited, man. Every man was excited. So, boy, Arbovie, Arbovie, we are going to play for Arbovie. Because that was a dream, you know, to play for Arbovie. Because, as I said, all of us grew up and we talked about it as youngsters. So we wanted that, we wanted this, you know. Yeah. So, well, well, right, right uh, here, you're telling me about the level of loyalty to that community. Yeah, we never. I have think that. that is on. Yeah, well, no, you know, you're the one I said. Cause remember, I said one time, why all of them on the Dak McKenzie, all of the big man they will come out of Premier Car, I attack top notch football player. Never said, boy, I could do it one year for Premier Car, no. And them money as them get a call and say, yo. Here's a question, though. 
did Pembroke, I don't know, I'm, I'm just asking, mm. did Pembroke yeah. set up a foundation and lay out a plan and said, this is where we want or this is where we want to achieve this? Because I don't think that so. That was man, the man there at the heights of them foot, that, that was way up top there, you know, that and, and, yes. and, and, and Macam and them man, the top yeah. of them team. So if you now bring them home to something where they can see, Something down the road. It's hard to yeah, tell. Right. To see yeah, them I have a clear vision. We can yeah. yes. entice them on them wheel. Well, yeah. uh, Mamir, Andrew, you're not going to talk about that. Go ahead. I was saying that, you know, over the, the past, since we started the podcast and we've been discussing this issue and we, and we have spoken about Harborview, the one, when, when, I, when I spoke with Fatai and him lay out to me, um, the, what, what, what we're talking about now. I, I, I was saying that that's what was missing from yeah. the whole equation in Pembroke Hall. That, 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 manage, that leadership, the administrative aspect of it to, to, to pull the plan together and, and systematically work that plan until you get your results. Yeah, man. Le leadership was the key. That, that, that was that, that was leadership and, a, 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 and an undying loyalty. Leadership and the vision. To say yeah. I right. And just to follow up, what I've told you already is what was not the end of it. Mm -hmm. Because part of the, the plan was to bring in a corner league. Mm -hmm. So we had a corner league, which include, as we as I had called it, over the river, <laughs> over yeah. my side. So we divide up the community in different sections. So we had corner league, you, 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 wherever your, your group is. You had, mm -hmm. I forgot some of the name, them color red or whatever. We also had a mini league. That is kids. 16 and under. Mm, we have and the them have the, right. and and them have them the own little club. Yeah. yeah. Right. From those little clubs, what we did, we build something that we call our nursery. Mm. That was where we pulled people like Keith Cunningham. Dougie Bell used to come up there and play. Carl Grant. And, and we have a nursery. And that's how we win minor league two years straight, three years straight. Because we had... Those that nursery junior groves and yeah, them man, they yeah. grew up in our view, and them have them own like a club. And from those clubs, we select individual players who we identify as talented, and we coach them within the club for yeah, our yeah, view. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them. Wait, so what is that really? No, no, when it's so like what is that? Our view was the first and first thing the man them learned. So you them go go I remember junior group up there for old man. Now Kira yes. school them go play. Our view had foundation for them. Yes. That's, yes. what, that's that big difference is. That is a big difference in terms of that. They're more loyal to the school, to the, to the community, more than any school mm -hmm. they go to. That, that, and you see, you see where my talk about a while ago, the man at them invent academy, because basically an academy process that. There you go. And and right now, Clyde Jardine, as you asked me about Clyde, and I, <laughs> I, I Clyde, as a matter of fact, told me that Primaca maybe have a similar thing. We have a thing to call First Kick. Yeah. Which is a youth program right now with youngsters from all over the country because you have people True, coming right. from out of town come in Saturday morning and register them kids for play. Right. So you still have that program going with the youngsters that will build from the young the younger age. Mm -hmm. Right, a developmental a program. A couple of the things that, that the, 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 the organization, the management team did to entice the players and encourage them because we first thing they told us when we come back, we want to make this a, we don't have the whole of money, but we want to make this in a professional atmosphere. So yeah. couple of things them did. When we ran out of stadium against Pembroke Hall, we were the first team in Jamaica, club team, um, um whatever community team, yeah. to run out in every player in a full sweat suit. Mm. Every player was in a full sweat. The other view gave each player two pair of boots, peg boots, and a, and a iron. So where the money come from? Them yeah. part I want to get the money from. Well, with the back of drive, we had. People who donated, some of the man them come out of them pocket and things. So you know, well, it, you, never, about, hold on, hold on. It, you know, hold back for me. You never have no gangster or work I support the team. <laughs> them no, them, them, them days when nobody never up on the hill yet. All not yet, okay, okay. Not yet. No, yeah. Nowadays them capture the hill and you can see all kind of big million dollar house up there now. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Them days there, we'd have, we'd have a community supposed to build up the, I forgot where the name, but the, the man they run with the money, you know, people lose money yeah, from yeah, up there. Like the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, them but days there. Um, question. Yes. I know that the, the football is still alive and well in Harborview, right? And how much of it involves the community current today? You mean the players? When, and when I say when I say involves the community, not only from 
um, support, but players and, and, and just giving back to the community, to the youth and all this kind of stuff? Well, the, 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 um, the football club itself, they, they do a, um, a health fair. Every, every now and then, they do a health fair for the older people in the community. But what, what you have to understand, all of you, I don't live there now, so what I'm giving is maybe second hand. A lot of the people who live there now come from outside because a lot of the people who yeah. used to own the houses there, they move, migrated, and maybe them renting yeah. out or whatever. So yeah. when when, mm -hmm. when I was playing, everybody basically owned them house and lived there, come in our view. Yeah. So we had full support. As I said, when we have any game or compound, people line the field up there, everybody up there. When you come home, mom and dad out on the road, I congratulate you, good job, fat, mm -hmm. good job, this, good job. You mm -hmm. know, so we had, we had full support. When I when I go to school, Casey, in the morning, we couldn't take bus. Because as me walk up at the, the corner, the bus stop, somebody stopped, come fat, I came and go to school. You yeah. know, so it was there yeah. supporting you, you know, community was there. Community. One of the things as we go on, and this was later down the street, what helped all of you develop the field and all that. All of you became the first stadium in the Caribbean. I don't know if you know that. No. The compound. The compound is that after, is that after the after light yard, and, no? Right, because one of the things that Carvel fought for for years with, with, with the Jamaica Football Federation is to help teams to get their own field. Yeah. yeah that never really reached well us. Yeah. Right. So our, our of you decide that so they're going to try on them own and do their own thing. And that's where we, we build that field, build it up to a state, mini stadium. So we became the first club team in, in Jamaica, in, in, in Caribbean, to own them own first field. One of the things that helped wow. us, I don't know if you remember with the World Cup in France when Bibi came back, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. We, we were able to sell him. We get some some nice money from that, so that was helpful also. That was a good food, yeah. <laughs> right. And, and if if I remember correctly, the JFF probably did try to come in and that, but that is a <laughs> story for that. <laughs> but yeah. you see, some of the things that you mentioned in that process now, Fata, it 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 it, it mirrors what occurred in Pembroke as well, okay. because. Our field was in the middle of the community, and on a Sunday we had a triple header, and right. everybody would come out in them Sunday best come watch the games, yes. right? The corner league, yes, yes. and so, so most of the players, ninety odd percent of them were from Pembroke. In okay. fact, when when outside players started coming, they they made rules that you couldn't have more than one or two on a team. Right. From, we had from a, si we had a similar, very similar rule, yes, at that time. Yeah. So. But now, um, like you said, most people leave and 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 none of the players on the, the Pembroke Major League team now live in Pembroke, right? right? So so that ship has sailed. But what I was talking about now was still a connection. Even though the players may not be from Pembroke or from Harborview, the, 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 the football club is still involved in supporting the youth in the area and that type of thing, or, or even the elderly. Yes, yes. Because as I said, we do that clinic, plus we have the youth program with a lot of the youngsters. The coach, Ludlow Bernard, he still lives in Harborview. So he's there with them also, and he manages the, the stadium. He's the, the, the person who manages the stadium. Clyde Giardini, he, he, he started, I think he lives further up, Barbican or so, but he, he's still the general manager and is there almost every day. But yeah, we, 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 they do a lot of things. One of the, the struggles they have, though, between them and the community is that a lot of the older people want to, they want somebody to exercise. The problem is that they cannot let them on the field because, you know, you have to preserve the field because they shut it down for a year after COVID to, to resurface it and, and get everything, just get it back up. Because they, they haven't played any, any home game there this season, I think last season, because the field was under construction. Yeah. So, okay. you know, that's the struggle that we have, right? They, they have really, the communities, that people feel that they must open the gate, make them go walk the field. But we can't do that because it's going to destroy the field. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the struggle we have. But you know, in terms of working with the community and we, we, we try them best. I'm trying them best to do. Mm -hmm. But but look, we go back to the history part. I don't want to work with. I want because you start. Yes, you, 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 you call back everybody for come home back, and that to me was a big difference in terms of that. Probably yeah. can never that leadership. Or even if it was there, it never show itself. It never manifest itself in other way. The organization skill. The two man them work all. 
because I, I, do, I don't want to disparage the promo call, man. They never show it, they put it that way. It never exists. I mean, yeah. I said they never have it, but it never exists at all. Yeah, but Jelly, I'm not just the that she put money up for one yeah. from the, the man them for one come come, come come back to yeah yeah, yeah they were, no and then and then the right is like the album you people and it's different than from a call people I'm yeah because you hear what i'm saying once them call them there was no hesitation and, and i like them did i play for either team because that I will talk about with Prima Carl now a man now will come play for Prima Carl when santos want him or cavaliers or real mona we ask them money i said listen we are go back home we yeah. will build our thing but yeah, but the, but what I also said that there was a plan, and and like him said with 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 people like Markham and 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 um and, 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 and Doc, Doc, you have to, if if you're going to call these guys to come come home to play, you have to be telling them something. What you have to have a plan. plan. What was the plan? Yeah. Right, so that's so, why so, you have so, to. So, yeah, because at them stage of them man, there was a. Up the top, you know, the man that I represent Jamaica, so yeah, to give up them career and go back home and no organization and now work is it, it, like them a lose years for them football career. Yeah, so you're right. You need, you yeah, need yeah, to have that, a plan that, 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 show that them the opportunity. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you had right. community still li living at the time, and you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, and got Cavaliers. Did, no, we have enough yeah. people who could have yeah, completed the above you, but the organizational and the leadership skill never yeah, manifests itself. Never manifest itself. We even test people test the commitment. I don't think the commitment could have even been tested. Like it wasn't there at all. It wasn't there at all. The skill and everything was there, but it never manifests itself. So after the call of every man then, all of them man then, name some of the players them where you remember you are playing with in the early days for time. In the early days, we had players like um, Liquor Skill, Trevor McKenzie. Mm. We have um, Russell Bell, mm -hmm. um, Nigel Goodison, we had, um, Archie Richards, mm -hmm. Clyde Giardini, um, Ari Tennant, the late Ari Tennant, that was my midfield partner. Mm -hmm. First of all, Dennis. I don't know if you remember this guy used to play. He, he was from Spanish though, but he came from Veer with Ar Arch Ar 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 them. Um Wimpy Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. ma, Wimpy, yes, yes, yes. Jumpy, I if I mentioned Jumpy already. Clive Busy. Jumpy, Clive, Cam Clive Campbell was there playing with us also. Mm -hmm. And Santos won that again, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bert Robinson, Otto. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shani. Shani. Go ahead. No, all them are the have a few money, I call it. I'm busy, yeah. yeah. All of them, uh, Shani DV, brother, he was at um, Real Mona with um, Chicken them. He left and came home also because he was the first captain. Mm -hmm. So all of them Monday. George, George Bruce, you know, you remember George Young, Stuart Young. I think he come from Premier College, you know, Bruiser. Yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. He, but, but he lived in Arborview. And even balance and some promo card oh, connection. Con Conrad Balance Mullins, man. Yes, that's my that's my bridging, man. Every bridging that. <laughs> Original the Billy Bob. Well, me, me, me. But the first time, maybe you can't be a little bit of a family. They moved out of you. Huh? You might you you could be instrumental in in convincing Balance to join us on a conversation on Pem Call Memories to Cause. Mm -hmm. We talk about my time, but. We never have a contact reach out to him. I knew that I could have find him through. I, I talked to him every now and then. I talked to, talk to him. The other day, it was his birthday, so I talked to him. Well, yeah. let him see that conversation that come out. He will want to come to Keith's story. We'll <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my protector, man. Me, used to, me the man used to hold on to the ball a lot. And Conrad, if a guy hit me too hard, man, I know Conrad take care of him. But let me ask you a question, though, because... And true, you are not in a KC man upon the thing. It's so like you didn't love half of you more than you love KC. Is that possible? No, that not no, no, but still love the two of them. But, <laughs> <laughs> I love the two of them. I love me all of you. But KC, KC, is that, is that when, you, when you enter that gate, it's a special thing in your blood, you know? Yeah. You understand? It, it, them call it a cult, but when you know if I call it, you know, exactly. but, well, well, that's what people can't understand that's still, you know? Not. 
from you go through that gate. It, it, it's that aura. Once you go out yes, of school, yes, that aura, yes. it consume you. Yeah, man. It's just some... From I, from me, I grew up as a little boy. As I tell you, so we grew up in a vineyard too. We used to live next door, Ed Wallace. Them, them time, the jumpy, mm. um, like the McLean, all the man used to come next door. So we used to see them, man, there. As little, 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 little boy. Because I used to call yeah. it, you really too. Little boy. But the man used to come next year. I used to see them with jumpy, them with the 64, 65 team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, the, it, from yeah. them days, the Mr. Boy, the only school me I go in at Kingston College. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You go through the gate, a case seems right. a special feeling. And I know that you say, Harbor View, the Harbor View coming, I, as an excellent person myself, mm -hmm. a lot of my classmates and friends, Hail from Harbor View, right? Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. you mentioned some of the the, the Excelsior faithful in Archie Richards and Clyde Gerardini. And right. and Russell Bell was actually my math teacher, teacher yeah, in yeah. first form. Russ used to teach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Archie so, was a so, Harbor View man that you mentioned in me, man, Andre. Archie. Yeah, man, Archie, yeah, man. Archie Harbor View man grew up in Harbor View, play minor league with way all the way through till he migrated. The only time Archie left Harbor View. He got a job with one of them boxers, like Kirk Vine, I think. Yeah. And he used to play for Kirk Vine. But that's the only reason why I'm leaving all of you. No, as you call him, I remember because I interviewed his wife for the and wife used to come to from a Meadowbrook member's party. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, as you said that, I remember she come and talk about him. So, yeah, yeah. It was a, but the excellent time you used to go, Andre. Archie. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Archie, yeah, yeah, Archie yeah, used yeah, to man. the truck store. Archie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Archie was, Archie was the one person that, cut, that I saw. What um that made me learn what what student council commitment was about because there there was an incident at Excelsior with well like a herb smoking you know over across Hills <laughs> and Mr Powell expelled quite a few students and Archie was included and and this, and we went on strike and decided that no you can you have to you have to do some rehabilitation you can't just expel them and and so we, we the student council went on strike and 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 they were readmitted you know so so archie archie Gerardini, um there were there were a few guys that had played him juveniles that here dalton richards yeah. um kenneth davy they weren't overview people but yeah Excel says near and dear to Fatai, by the way, gentlemen, because <laughs> you, 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 you mentioned that his, his life's partner, Fatai, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, he's, <laughs> no, she he, is my twin. She's 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 my Okay. Yeah, so man. I, I tell Rob, we used to go KC. All our brother them go KC. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I tried to marry a KC, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the blood. She couldn't resist. No, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so, so there is there's mutual respect between the two institutions. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because anytime excess, you have any reunion things, you always drag me. So, I ended up at what well, the last year was at seventy seven. Uh, when was it? Well, yeah, the one twenty twenty two. Twenty yeah. We, we, yeah man, when we went to um uh Frenchman Cove and all them look around Apple, yeah. Appleton Estate and we had a great time, man. The KC man was in was, was in fine company, man. <laughs> <laughs> was in, was yeah, in good hands. I, I must say that, that they really took care of me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, well. Yeah. Not, not, listen. Left out. Even with my but case. you know, the funny thing about it, the funny thing about it, Fatai, from first farm, you know, and second farm, Neil, of course, is my classmate and my, okay. my, one of my, my brother. Right. We are here about Fatai from, me yeah. just pretend to me know who Fatai is, because <laughs> it's, it's almost like, you don't know Fatai. What do you mean? <laughs> so, you yeah, just man. know. So Fatai was a house, a, a household name now, a classroom, you know. Yeah, yeah from, man. from early on. Broke with Neil, Neil, yeah, man, Neil last, yes, yes. So, yeah, say, so yeah, play for Santos before you leave school, Fatai. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometime my training start out, me, Devi, and Pablo Robinson used to get up early morning, four or five o'clock, and roll around on the sand. 
after we leave this time, we we'll go back home, be it, get ready and go to school. And then we have morning cup practice at 3 o'clock. Morning cup practice done at about 4 or 5, and then we we'll run, go up to Up Park Camp where St Santos used to train, and that's it. What do you mean? You run from Arborview, go up to camp? No, we never run. We'll get, a, <laughs> get a drive from KC, go up to Up Park Camp. Oh, from KC, okay, okay. Was that, was, was, that, was, that the, was that out of the Gate um, side there? But I, that feel eh? right, no, right. No. Um, yeah, yeah, up that side, eh? yes, yeah. So, okay. you know, yeah, I play, for, play, for, play with Santos and then Monday as, as a youngster, you know. But you have, you have the big scene, my senior man, then you have go to go to, go to Thompson, you have cast yeah. Bob Campbell, and then Monday. Oh, you the Monday, Santos, Monday, yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down on the bench, and when you get your little break as a youngster, you know, you go in and think. This, the, one of the, the crop we won before we left, I think it was the year before we went back home. We won the um the the the, the division one knockout competition. A story about that is that Jamaica was supposed to travel the next day, George T. So George T said, Boy, and none of the players them from the Jamaica team can can play. Mm -hmm. But the problem is we were playing against Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. So you know. You know, oh, wow. him and, you know, him and Duncan are good friends, so some of them must meet up and Duncan said, George, you can't do me that. So he said, all right, the man them can play. That's how I'm here anyway. He said, so, but the Sanders man them decides to them not nah, play because they don't want to get injured or anything. So the Cavaliers man them decides to them a play. So anyway, we decided to boy, we were sending our under-19 team to play them in the finals. And Vesta Constantine in goal, all Cavaliers man them turn up. So it was... The, the oldest man on the team was Tenge, Tennis and Taylor. I don't mean, know if you know Tenge. Mm -hmm. was a was. Everybody else was under 19. And we beat them one love. That was the last group of winners. Oh, we one love. <laughs> one love. Up, 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 up park camp there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then he we'll go home. Pablo Robinson scored a goal. Mm -hmm. So, so Pat, Pat, was Pato on that team? I think Pato played because all, all the Cavaliers man them play. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, the Santos man them decides the boy them out take a break and they don't want to get injured and they might travel the next day. But 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 for the record, for time, them two teams that was in the community team, Santos and Cavalier. No, 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 no. That was division one in them days. Club there. team them there. Club team, all club team, um Santos, Boy Stone, Real Mona, Real Way. The, them team, the real Mona, all of that was club team. No, no community team at that time. Mm -hmm. Is when um Kasafa changed management and voting a new group of people. I think never Glanville, Russell Bell was on that, that um yeah, of, Russell Bell. and they decided yeah. they wanted to do community football. Mm -hmm. So that was when they sent out invitations to the different communities inviting them, which included our view. So boy, and I want to make you an affiliate of the Kassaf house so you can play in the, the club football. Because it was all it was all um I mean it was community football um, community football, because it was all club football at that time. Yeah, so, so, so take us through then, Patai, when you call home the man, you know, and you decide, say, I'm mean, like what you say, you call home the man, you know, come play for yeah. you. Yeah. What, the, what, 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 what started happening after that? Because the community did be on 100%. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. So, so when, 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 we, when the players decide to come home, we organize a practice. We start, as, as I told you, we scrape off a piece of the field and, you know, make a little patch where we could run up and down. So our practice include we got the sun or we got tower up on the hill there, up, we run a couple of times up on the hill there, and after that, or we go down up. We used to go down a Bernard Lodge, like on weekends if we not travel, we go Bernard Lodge for the, for the, from morning five o'clock we get up and drive go Bernard Lodge, and we play, then we break and have a little um, session where we talk about things and things, and then we play a big big scrimmage. So that was part of the practice, and then now. When we start playing games now, we 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 we, we just every weekend. But during the week we meet and, and practice, and then on weekends we travel as a team and, and tour the island, which are, wherever we go and play those games. And I said we never lose one of those games. One one all of them. We play against the top team in each parish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you hit the ground running when you started in the middle. Yes, league. yes. That that was the key. Is that. We, we maybe could have played well if we did us in a cause most of the players them were talented, but they individu were individually talented, you know. We weren't as a team. Yeah, yeah. When we made from that, different programs. Right. When we made that decision to, to 
take a break and work as a team and build a team. That was where we got so much closer, closer. You know? So what, and, 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 what coach the team in Adam early days? Who was the coach? Derek Golden. Derek Golden. Another half of you, man, that again. Yes, he started out as our minor league coach. When, when I won minor league, he was a minor league coach. So he moved up to the, the major league coach. How old was he when he was coaching that, the major league team? How old he was? Yeah, at the time. <laughs> Derek, I think Derek was coaching maybe late thirties, early forties. If so, I don't okay. think I don't think he reached forties yet. But maybe late thirties, early thirties. But it was around thirty something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As I said, most of the men who start the organization, you know, they were fairly young. Because me as a player, some of them maybe about 10, 15 years older than me. Yeah. At, at them mm. ages. So we, we sort of grew up together. Mm. But the main thing as I tell you is that they had a plan. They had a plan to do certain things. Some people sit down and say, well, all right, we want to do it this way. But everybody agree with the plan and work towards the plan. People had to migrate and thing and people step in, but they knew the plan. Because I don't know if you remember Mr. Sid the Masters, he was our president, he's deceased now. Mm. He, he, he lived in Arborview and how he got involved with us is that we were short one car. I forgot to remember, he was going St. Anne to play against St. Anne's team. And we were short one car and he was driving by and we stopped him. I said, Master, we need a drive for a country to play a game. I said, sure. Okay. And that was it. He became president two years later. He, he just, wow. jumped, just jumped in the MKR and, and him, him come with him to carry the country. Mm -hmm. let, let, let me ask you that a question. That is commitment. Yeah, yeah, that is commitment. But let me ask you a question, Patai. Because mm -hmm. when I think we play from the call, you know, was the politics. Okay. You know, the turbulent 70s where from mm -hmm. is like... I think from a call divided over politics, and that was, in my mind, the biggest problem for call from a call. Okay, from okay. call. Did I have a view of that friction where? No. So what what, no. what, 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 what So when, when you say politics, you mean people within the organization are going one side or the other? That's the thing. Politics. No. Are politicians Jum coming? Jamaica and politics. <laughs> yeah, but, but politicians coming into the community are telling you which way to go? No, not necessarily. Man, in the community, and it's like it was a two different vision they have. In terms of that no, 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 no. We we never have that. We never deal with the politics at all. Whoever whoever in charge and can give us money, we'll take it. But we never go to our way for say we are support that side, the other side. Right, so. We never get branded as red or orange at all. Or, or even no color at all. Man well, because of the area, I think at that time, the area we live in, I think Michael Manley did win over our view. Yeah, so East so let me say, but we went to places like Tivoli and nothing happened. You know, because the players were neutral. The players never did, we don't deal with them something there. Because we, we well, go down yeah, to Tivoli. Yeah. Me go down to Tivoli with man. As a matter of fact, Arnett, one, we went to Arnett Garden and, and celebrate with them. We got Tivoli Garden, play a game and hang around there. Because as a matter of fact, in, in my younger days, um, Jackie Walters, who we brought into the club when, we, from um, Camperdown, Jackie and I used to work together because Jackie used to coach separate down at Tivoli area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. Jackie was also the coach for the under 19 team. Yeah. I was his assistant. So when Jackie had to go tour or travel with the team, I was the one there at separate coach of the team. And I late at night me down at Tivoli, walk around and think. And I was fine. Nobody never tell me something I this or call me that. Because we never deal with politics. We never clear about it. Whoever wanna win, win them, do what they want to do. Football was everything to me. And you see what I'm fat, I, I think what, what and what Lance was getting at as well is the players for the most part were not politically affiliated in Permaca, but we had some Trevor Monroe came in fully. That's oh, the, 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 so him, him living now about him living on um, Permaca? No, no, no. So no but, he, but he developed he developed WPJ within Permaca, right? Okay, now, and we we had we had guys who were stalwart, stalwart mm -hmm. football players from early. Okay. Who took up the leadership of WPJ, right? Oh. And okay. Had a certain, had a certain amount of street cred, right? Okay. Okay. And so, so at one point when we 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 had guys like Bobby Fire, uh, coach the team, you know, you, you had these guys now step in and say, well, they want the attention of the youth in the area. So mm -hmm. they want certain things to happen, like the team must wear certain gears and 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 certain 
lines that you're following. So okay. even yeah. though the players themselves were not the necessarily not involved with politics. It, it turned out the players them. Yeah. Most of the players them wouldn't stay from because of that. Because well, you, you, just yeah. answer, you just answer, answer your question there, you know, um, Jelly, because as you say, why weren't the players committed? Now, if me as a player and my career there at the top with like Doc and Macam and them on there, why would I want to stay there if things like that are happening? So that answer your question, maybe it's not that the players them are never committed, it's just that the foundation wasn't there or them never see the part where they might develop their football because that is where they love football. So if people that they are drawing them in a different direction towards, as you said, politics or whatever else, that may be the problem. Maybe it's not the players well, never that come for perfect can play. Maybe that was the problem. They never see that direction or that foundation. Full disclosure, that 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 occurred down the line. Okay. Um, when 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 football was established in the in the sixties in a permacall, that was not an issue then. Okay. okay. This this was this was more about in in the mid seventies. Yeah, just that, before yeah. the seventies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. And, okay. and and that sort of ended. Football in Pembroke. In a sense, in a sense, I'm put away a Double PGA. It was Pembroke was the epicenter for double PGA. Okay, 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 okay. And they still live at Pembroke. They never know that. Nah, but right, they never know we, about but that. we knew that. We knew that because we know the man and, and we know the connection and everything in a in a Pembroke with that. It's me I said to you. And, and we, it, it was right on my street. Right? <laughs> so I passed every day. <laughs> Yeah, it, it hit home for you, eh? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it, it, no pun intended. <laughs> and, uh, Andrea migrated in 1977, right, Andrea? Yes, yes, uh, I left at the height of it. Right, you know. right. So, we are at, whereas half of you never had the distraction there, Patai. Oh, no, so no, no. A better thing is like, for some reason, it's like, and as we say, it, it had its plus and its minus in terms of, say, and I don't know what happened to Permacal if that never because Permacal, unlike in a, in a sense, you know, when they say when when they describe the boundary, I have a view, you know, I have a view insulated enough, but I yeah, yeah, that's true. You follow me, that's I said, you know, <laughs> Permacal in the middle, mm -hmm. you know, Permacal border, Permacal surrounded by water, across the boulevard, Marvel, <laughs> and you follow me, yeah. I said, you know, and the yeah. Drew, Drew's land, Drew's land, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So it, it, it was, it was. It, the complexity of the whole thing. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm not casting an aspiration for nothing, but that, that didn't happen at Primacal in the 70s, Okay, okay. It's a big, big difference that. Apart from, so I just said, you know, it's like when, and as Andre said, you know, in the 60s, you know, and maybe if we have the vision or the leadership where it manifests itself, I have a view. I put it that way, because I mean, now, let's say Primacal, I never have no leadership. It just never manifests. Yeah, in the right. early days, yeah. you say, if you say, if, a, a group of money come up from a car, or go that from a car, they check it on and say, when you come home, come play a ball, this is what we're going to do. Maybe we're going to the late 70s, we not know Andrea. Okay, okay. But you, know, but you know, first of all, we have to give credit and for leadership to Ralston Briscoe, right? Because Ralston Briscoe, developed the corner league in Permacal, and that was the first corner league in Jamaica. And, and this, in the 60s that was a major step mm -hmm. i don't know and it wasn't he wasn't alone there were other people i don't know if at the time they they tried to to do what was being done or what ended up being done in in harborview but the corner league was developed it was a thriving league people came from far and wide to play in the corner league in permacard and but the, the major league team didn't seem to benefit from that in terms of the development. Right, right. Yeah, because our, our corner league and, and mini league, what, what we, the structure we had, especially for the mini league, the youngsters, them run them own club, but they had a senior player like <clears throat> Vernel Cunningham, Keith's brother, Clyde Jardine has his own club, Michael Juby Jones, who's a DV backup. He was at yeah. one club. You had senior players who were with each club, you know, sort of guiding yes. them as a coach. So you had some foundation, there, some leadership there. But the youngsters, them sort of run everything. They they collect the money or do them want to make sure everything all right. So that was one of the things where you had young leadership coming up also. And as I said, that was our nursery because we had some very talented young, young players 
coming up through that system and we were able to select them and put them and nurture them and get them the proper training and coaching and whatever they needed at that time. Yes, yes, yes. And we and we had, we had a we had a farm system similar to that. We had a gentleman that we fondly referred to as Spartacus. And Sparta was instrumental in, in developing what we call the Junior Corner League. And the you know the, the, we as kids now would have got to the local shops and buy dye for dye your your your, your shirt them so that we could have uniform right mm -hmm. and 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 just like you mentioned there would be one player like maybe a junior player from one of the senior corner league team that mm -hmm. would be responsible for coaching you know that 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 junior corner league team right. and and so that but it didn't it didn't have the longevity okay and 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 so you know uh, organization had to be at the core of that yeah. or lack thereof and as you mentioned that andrea must mention salimina because he was instrumental in organizing a woolly for the junior corner league but he was a, he was a yes. young that's why i'm asking the age of the man you know he must be older than we when, okay. Sal when salimina and them things him younger than you fatai okay okay but yeah, man, when salimina was my minor league coach sally Sally was still at Calabar, so I mean, right. I'm going to assume he right. was so, so, probably about eight, 18, 19 when he was coach so me as my man. So the the man who take up the leadership of Premier football for mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, it, uh, as young start take it up in a way, to take it up. Okay. Okay. You follow me, I said, I'm going to say bigger man ever there, you know, and I beat an all winner, but I tell you, the political distraction was a major distraction by the mid-70s. Like, okay. Major, okay. major distraction. It's like, and, but 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 the vision and the, it never manifests at all. I mean, just make sure we repeat that. Cause I don't want a man come on and say, "Boy, I'll answer this premier card, man." Don't answer that shit. It never true. Yeah. It right, never true yeah. at all. It never true at all. No, the, the leadership was there and, and planned because even within our corner league, we had a women's league. From then. Yeah, but it never lasts wow. very long because. We never have the facilities. The feelers, you know, are dirty when the woman them drop and bruise up themselves. We never like that. And then we never have <laughs> the changing room or dressing room for them. So it never lasts long. Yeah, yeah. And it was a the night. Them play hard, man. Them run hard and tackle hard and thing. So the, 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 we had a little carnally with, with the women, them are playing. Mm -hmm. it, it was funny for me as a youngster to see the ball I come over the woman, them I catch it on them chest and them thing there, you know. So them chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. You know, them think about the woman them play hard man they never hold back well, never him, hold back. him that alone is we are our time we never have yeah. that at all we never have that yeah. at all and all that are above you man no we never have no girls that play no yeah. no girl can only where you say even if it never lasts you know, we'll lie down no time yeah. we'll lie down no time for time so after the take up after the start playing you know, when you start winning you know, in terms of that when you when you reach when you take it to another level you now when you become a real professional on that vision at what point you think that sit check click on uh, all right. Our biggest season was 76, 77. I think that year we won. Uh, there was a William Isaac trophy, which was for the Eastern section. We won that, the William Isaac um, knockout know. trophy. Yeah, and we won the Casa for Major League knockout trophy. We won that. We won the DNG Minor League under 17. We won that. Then you had the SDC under 19 trophy. We won that the same year. And of course, we won the major league. For the minor league team, I must wow. tell you, we had three youngsters who was on the, the major league team Carl Grant, Keith Cunningham, and Dougie Bell. And that's and a daddy, that's a daddy Grant. No, no, no. No. The, the, Carl Grant used to go Woolmouth. Woolmouth. Oh, not the one who used to go KC. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And those three players play for the under 19 team also and play minor league the same year. So them won three trophies. They won the under 17. Them won the major league and them won the under 19. Oh, wow. But anyway, that, that was our biggest year in that time. They we won all of those trophies. And the funny thing, as I said about vision, I will never forget Ronald Piggy Chung when we entered major league. He said, Give us three years, give us three years. And exactly three years we won major league. I'll never forget so, that. So he, he, was saying, he was saying that to the people that he asked to come he, home or to the community? He said that to the team, yeah. When we had our meeting, he said, give us three. We're not going to play this year, but give us three years. Okay. And it's three years after we enter my Major League, we won the trophy. And, and, uh, so you had a goal that was measurable. Yes, it was yes. measurable. So you could right. say, you can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. Right. You can't beat that. But 
after that now, you know, we, we you say um Premier is sandwich. We we really don't have a sandwich, but we have um Port Royal over going over the airport side and we had Bull Bay. Mm-hmm. They decided they entered that our was a major rivalry for you. Oh my it? gosh, I was a story, man. I tell you now. We had games come and come on the port royal people, people them come and peer gunshot fire over the man of a run. <laughs> when we when we got to Port Royal and play a game, you know what is our half side top to half time top? Not pass the ball to this man or square they say no. Guys, as soon as it get close to the end, the driver they when go in the car and start the car. <laughs> Just run to the first car you can catch. <laughs> that was our half time time. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as the ref dog that we see, you know, we just tell the man higher now, you run to a car and a pure stone and follow you. <laughs> you, you lean down. We, we go bull beer and we are playing, we are, we are playing lead one love. And the man them starts two and we. Man hide there and car and the car drive off a man still bending a whole of head. You know, so you know, <laughs> we, 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 it's not only for things today, especially them two teams, the man, Bull Bay and, and Port Royal. And, and when them come out, we will never reciprocate and tell them, say, no, they come out, we don't want to beat you up up there. So, same way, I want to bring bad this, same way. Yeah, bring bad this up there, same way, sir. <laughs> well, let, let, let me ask you. No, 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 not for cutting, but the worst one we had. <coughs> I don't know if you hear that story, a brownstone. Yeah. I think it was, I wonder if it's the same here, I don't remember if it's the same, but we play a match at Brownstone. Wembley, Wembley near Vauxhall there. And Brownstone for the record, but I have Winwood Road. Yes. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So George Bruiser is a man that ease up. When he might tackle him, tackle him, go feed fully. George Bruiser wipe out a man. And all you can hear is gunshot and the man them go after George Bruiser and go to a piece of his. <laughs> Balance run. You know where Brownstone is near Vauxhall? Yeah, yeah. Balance yeah. run from Brownstone. Uh, when we reach home, we eventually reach home. We see Balance sitting on one bar. <laughs> <laughs> balance jump the fence and run from, from Brownstone to have of you. <laughs> no, them, them we need to come verify that story, Andrea. Yes, yes. Come tell about that, Andrea. Yeah. No, them, them days them are, was of interest in game, man. So you play some game, and if, 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 if the man them like your thing, them psh, Stone him on our foot after you. But first, we never have no one get shot. We still have some policemen who travel with me and start out in a back them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that never uh, sounds like it's intimidating at all, Fata. No, no. We we'll go back and play because if we have a game, we play it. We play the game. When we meet up on the field, we never remember that. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, yeah. step on the field, they don't remember that. You know, it's uh, during the game if them bust it up or after the game, something starts. But you play the game and you go up on the field, you, you don't remember the spectators there, and you're just so involved in, in the game and I played. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We enjoyed it, we enjoyed it, but we had fun playing the game. Yeah, 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 that, 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 that's important. Because even though Abba was insulated, and the outside of play, it's like, so you never have no, no violence from Abba in terms of that. No, sense. no, 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 sir. No, sir. The only violence is if this guy up chubby the man, the girl, or the girl. Up, as they tell you, so we have a woman, woman, yeah. woman game. Some woman tackle, some woman harder than some, you know. <laughs> so, we, we didn't hear rumors said why. So if you're, if you're going to talk to my girl too hard, it's probably... Here you go. So, <laughs> that's just some of the rumors said why. The, the man that trouble, you know, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's the violence we had. Yeah, that, that, that's not much violence that's not the time. You're in front of you. And you know, that, that same community spirit prior to the political thing that we mentioned in the front, that's how we surrender up in my card. You know, you, yeah. you, you just, on a Friday and a Saturday night, you just listen out for music and you just go and go crash party because yeah, you yeah, know, it's near about would party. Man. And, yeah. you know, so... So it was, it was, but that, that, that era just changed everything for us, man. Yeah, okay. man. We well, haven't recovered from that at all, but I have not recovered from that era at all. And it, it was. And that was the end of the Bobby Fire. You probably knew Bobby Fire, Fatah. Yeah, man, we know Bobby Fire, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give him come yes. out from the program early and come talk him story. Riley Briscoe, come and tell the story. So it's not like what I said something where other man confirm and say, this is what happened. Right. You see me, I said, Riley, come and talk him story. 
Right, the younger brother come, Carlton, Briscoe, and 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 no funny man they might know, and um, and Pregs, let the time. I'm I'm Pregs. And then a Santos man that so yeah yeah yeah. yeah. May I try to get my come for come on. So after I'm ready, he might decide for come on, but he 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 not ready for come on yet. So yeah, because yeah, yeah my come probably the same yet. So yeah yeah, because my come the play for Veer. My come the go with school. My come the play for Veer. Him did a color man. I don't remember which school, but he played for Veer. I think he played with um, EB and them on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Veer was the dominant school at the time. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, Makam. Yeah. Makam was up. Uh, and yeah, man. Got Doc it. has been on telling him story as well. Yeah, Doc come on to. We'll get that, we'll oh, get, Doc come on. Okay, okay Doc good. Doc has been on to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Doc, yeah. Doc did leave and go to college. In the early, yes. early, yeah. early 70s or late 60s, because yeah. that never see a Jamaica long a time. Go college him go only and that thing he up ago. I think I just send him go for make him name. And he go play okay. pro league. But, but wasn't 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 Kochi is a KC man to Lance? Yeah man, Kochi is a KC man to man. Monroe. Fort the man you know, know, you know Kochi is what I? I know the name, I don't I don't remember the Kochi. I I hear the name though. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Maya, come on, yeah? No, no. <laughs> Watch I work on him, but no, I I have not been lucky so far. I mean I love fear film story. Love, love fear film story as a, uh, as, as a foundation from a card. So so over half of you know what percentage of the man them in terms of go, the school them want to go most was camped on KC and, and Excelsior. Majority of the man them go KC or George or Excelsior. The women them end up at Excelsior. Okay. But, okay. I would say at least seventy percent of the man them go KC and yeah, yeah, some go camped on her and Georges okay. and some go Excelsior. Okay. Okay. But, yes, most of the girls, maybe. That seven, explains eight, the greatness of all of you. Is it the bloodline, man? The bloodline. <laughs> yeah, well, well, listen, you just answer the question as to why all of you were so successful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Still, and still is. Yeah, yes. We'll continue to manage then for time because all of you eventually signed a big, big contract with Bibi God. Term that's yeah. And that was. That was a side big shift in enough money of football. Say. Money can make out of football. How about you throw that? Yeah, what, you know any details behind that where you can't share in terms of how that come about? Well, I wasn't there that time, but what I've heard is that when he went to the World Cup, big clubs didn't want him, like Cavalier, yeah, Cavalier, um, Chelsea and, um, and Bolton. Yes. But then Carvel Stewart, I think, was instrumental in managing that part of it. Carvel said, boy, he doesn't think he should go to to um Chelsea, Chelsea because Chelsea. they had the, to a Chelsea the, with the defender them and play for them country already. Mm-hmm. Forgot where the left back the name and play for England. Um, I, I think so, I know Yata. Read I know um the left back. And him, yeah, and him playing uh, the, the American league they know him. They forgot their name. Ashley Sutton, I know Yata. The left back of yeah. play for Chelsea. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, Carvel so well, um. If him go, if him go to um, him, Bolton. Bolton, if him go Bolton. to Bolton, him definitely go and play there, and the coach yeah. said play. So that was where that decision was made to to him go to a team where he can play and get playing time. Right, and, and further free. develop himself. Right, and develop him skill instead of sit down on the bench. bench so that's exactly. a good decision for him because he he was one of the more prominent Jamaican. In, in the English league for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Played for several years. And he was a so, foundation of Abbeville, man, Joe. Yeah, he grew up in Abbeville, he played minor league and everything. We got, I think he got Woolmans, too. Yeah, he played minor league. league and he played minor league, grew up through Abbeville, yeah, man. Come up through the stable, stable and the system. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah system man. Yes, Abbeville, come up through yeah, Abbeville, yeah, yeah. Abbeville system, yeah, yep. Yeah. 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 Came through the Abbeville pipeline. Yes, the Abbeville nursery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Pemba Carla, when Pemba Carla got said that jelly. <laughs> did Wis did did Whisper play half of you to what I? No, he 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 played with a team named Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, man, a Phoenix, a, a Craig Butler boy. Craig Butler, yeah, Craig Butler. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, Craig, he's right, a nice right. food after that contract, then. Oh yes, yes. 
But yeah, and it's a nice food off a yeah. BLA new contract. You must sit pretty. Yeah. But you have to remember that Whisper had the KC blood in us, so that, that part that thought I could. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell the thing I drew up. <laughs> so, so let me ask you a question, Patai. So, all the man will come to Arborview from the 60s and the 70s, and you them still support my Arborview the same way, even now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, we have a reunion. Just to tell you, we have a reunion coming up. It's 50 years now. I know you said 60 for Primerica, but this year we're celebrating no, 60 for, years. No, for, for Santos. Oh, Santos is 60. Sorry. Yeah, man. Because Santos, I read it in the paper. Santos yeah, I put back them program. Yeah, Santos is Yeah, 60 years. Yeah, but because, because I, I, them, so them want to fix up for them feel. Right. Which, as far as we know, Santos used to play a clan clarity. Eh? That's, I think them rent it now. They move, many of them want, but them, I just so them yeah. still, still fix it up. But anyway, we have a reunion in July. July 14 to 20th with we, the, the reunion reunion committee every every two years or so we usually have a reunion in Florida, Connecticut, New, New York, um, Atlanta, wherever. Yeah. And this year we decided to join up with the football club because they're celebrating 50 years. So we have a reunion coming up in Jamaica from the 14th to the, the 20th um, July. So we've been putting that together. So. All the man them usually come back, man. And the, the, the greatest thing for me is when I go to these reunion, I must say some of the youngsters that used to come and them say, boy, coach, thank you for so and so. And and that is something I want to impart to some of these older players, you know. Spend some time with the youngsters. I mean, if, even if you don't yeah, say I yeah, and shit them up, because it means yeah. a lot. Even though you it may yeah. you was an older person, may not think it means anything. It means a lot to that youngster because, as I tell you, to that youngster, it touched yeah. my heart. Yeah, and it all where you read when you just start out, I try to read my bio, I tell me you achieve this. That don't mean nothing to me compared to when the youngster, we see the youngsters. We have lawyers, doctors, some of them call, call us and say, Boy, fat I, me just get your number, you're my mentor. And, and you go to the union and them say, Boy, fat I, thank you for talking to me about this and tell me this and just spend mm. some time with me. You know, it means so yeah, much to me. That means so Guidance. much to me. When me see them, when me see them used to, youngster that grow up and them come back to you, boy, and say, boy, coach, thank you. You know? Is, when when men turn in a part yeah, man. is that very important and thing? And value to your life. Yes, man, very, yes. Very that, important. Because since we started them podcast, you know, and, and as I mentioned earlier, I met a book me used to go, I met a book members podcast before from my cars. I may yeah. try to tell them a met a book, say, we just throw off my mouth and I say, we need, we need to have a system where the old student can go back to Meadowbrook. It's going to spend a lunch time with the youth. Yes. Just like, I yes. meant, eh, eh, no, no fish yes. 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 I'm not granting, you know. Let's have no, a regular no. mentoring thing where old yes. students have got yes. through. I'm going yes. to go, go take them on back for anything. I mean, it's so all Yeah, man. Yeah, Pass through yeah, from time to time. Yeah, man. Of, uh, yeah. Yeah. I learned yeah. some insight. You, yeah, man. You, as an older person right now, are even growing up in them years when we was... 20, 19, whatever. It's like, it, it never mean anything to me as such, you know. I just feel, it's just my personality. To sit down yeah. with a youngster and show him football and talk to him about football and things. Because Arborview Football Club was my university growing up in Jamaica. Yeah. Because that Arborview Football Club allowed me to do a whole lot of things. It's the first time I could have stand up in front of players, people my age or older, and talk to them about football with all confidence, a group of them, and feel yeah. comfortable talking to them. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I remember one down. year um we had a um a Jamaica JFF at a at a seminar where um I forgot the, where the guy come from. And after the end of the seminar, George D pulled me out of the crowd and said, Thompson, let me call me Thompson, go and offer the thank you for the Jamaica thing. Out of the crowd. And I was comfortable doing it. I could have go up there and say, boy, thank you for your insight and blah blah blah, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. It never, it never show me half and thing. You never know, arrive, you arrive. No, no. Uh, no man, it can't overwhelm you. KC, KC, do me for that, man. Growing up, you have of you, as I tell you, have of you teach me and allow me and give me the opportunity with all the different position I hold it, to talk to people, feel comfortable with people in, in any other sort of situation mm -hmm. there, you know. So, as I said, when I talk to the youngster, them and sit down and talk to them. When I go to reunion, them and them come back and say to me. It means a lot to me because honestly, in a them years, sometimes you think so they're not even hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think they're not hear you. You talk to them, you think so, boy, you just a talk and shit them a tune you out and no period of my life, you know, you won't yeah, kids. Yeah. So, but so, them a listen, them yeah, hear yeah, because yeah, 
But yeah. and tell me, say, me say this. Me never remember, remember some of the things. That's all right, right, yeah. right, right. Me right. never remember some of the things me tell her, them come back and say, boy, coach, thank you for that day and mm -hmm. tell you this and mm -hmm. spend this time and do that or whatever. Well, it means a lot. So that's something me I try and impart to these players now. So, boy, if it's even two minutes, just stop and Exactly, it. exactly. Nobody has never it, signed. It, it, it means more than any function for time. If you just yes. go and sit down and talk yes. to them one on one, it yes. means yeah, and just touch yeah, them. Man. But let me ask yeah. you something. Who was your mentor or grow up? Who you look up to? And where you learn to play football? Well, when, when I, I didn't have an individual, man. I used to watch people like Billy, Nigel, Moggy Graham, and all them. And that's how the great Billy Perkins. Great Billy Perkins. And I'm a few man, but yeah. keep going, Billy, yeah. I see them. <laughs> and, and Legendary. Then, when I was at when I was at Santos, people like go to Peter Masters, even though it was about my age. Peter was a way ahead of the That's game. Dove. Dove, yeah, yeah. Dove Masters, you know. Yeah, yeah. So them man them started to look up to. But my style was I was a possessive player with the ball. I feel that if we have the ball, the other team can't get it for score. So that was my style. Possession football, yeah, hold it for yeah. like, like a pep, 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 pep positive brain from then. Yeah. <laughs> that that was my style, you know, growing up with that. So yeah, 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 yeah. As I say, if I can impart anything to any of the younger players, them now, even the senior national players, them, spend some time with the youngster, them, man, talk to them, encourage them, because <clears throat> you now we have the experience. Our days, some of them contract, every them player get for go player. We never have that opportunity. No, no. A lot right, of them right. Have that opportunity, you know, them I get it. So impart to the youth, show them how to be a professional, talk to them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is my hope and dream that some of these players don't just... And, and it's a serious argument that you have made because a lot of them, if you check them interview, them lack professionalism. Yeah. Even them approach to the game. Yes. Yep. Look for what Bailey yeah, do there that, look for what Bailey do there that day for, when yeah. Jamaica, why him get suspended. Yeah, but it's a, I don't think him have any guidance because no. a, a players are... No, that, man, him not. Him party. You know, he remind me of Pepe Goodison because he used to love party, you know. <laughs> players at that level, man, need to have a, a, a PR person. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's making enough money where he can hire a PR person before him going that interview, they need to guide him or what to say him. what not to say. Well, I'm more than that. Yeah, I'm more than that. Fatter, is that they must be willing to listen, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that take a whole leap, you know? That take a whole leap, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, when, when you have people pumping you up from early, you know, you <laughs> develop a certain attitude and therefore you, 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 are, you, 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 you don't listen to a lot of people. You know? Yeah, you so, so, you know, it, yeah, yeah. Let, let me ask you a question about how about you, Fatai, because in a promo card, this is a big thing. Big, big thing mm -hmm. in a promo card. What influence did Rastafari have in how about you? In terms of the community and in terms of the money we play for the team, what, what well, we, we, we had a lot of dreadlocks on our team. You know, Jumpy was a dread, Ital Stewart, Harry Tennant, um, Harry Parr, one of our midfield players. Um, who else? I think George Bruiser was a dread also. And our reserve goalkeeper, Booker, was a dreadlock. So we had a lot of dreadlocks. And it, it never it never, it never affect us. We, we interchange with them, we talk to them, everybody talk one, as one another, it's just one big family. So it's not like some boy them isolate themselves and go one side as dreadlocks or we go one side as ballet as you know, call it. You know, it, 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 it never get to that stage then. You know, everybody does work as a team and work as one family. Yeah, I mean in Permacal, the, the twelve tribe movement had a had a big presence, right? And so Danny Meyer, Cochis, Bertie Dan, we you know, name uh, we can name. Eventually, Endless the farm men. Address, Endless and men. The, from a kind of a kind of team, team, team fatai. Yeah, the farm oh, address. Oh, the yeah, for spear dread. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay we never know. We, we never have had that. We had the dread them scatter out short the community. Right, that's what I'm asking. I, I don't ask if that team they're never good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, the project... but you know, and and on that note, Fatai, we we what well, the three of us here since the podcast mm -hmm. was developed, form a group, and that's what on my cap here now. Um, yeah. P Hall, lifting okay. lives. It's, yeah, it's Pembroke, it's Pembroke alumni lifting lives. So we are. Yeah. It's an advocacy pro um com, uh, organization where we are doing things to impact the community you know we're, 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 we're giving scholarships to the youth at the basic school and primary and high school levels okay okay yeah we recently 
installed some some floodlights at the high school for football and you know things right. like that. Right. So right. so we are looking to 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 establish the youth and and try to see if we can even energize the football program amongst the youth in the in in the area. So we felt it was imperative that we 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 have a conversation with you because all of you have shown the success that we hope to have down the line you know uh, one and, and first so thing i can suggest and have, we, you guys may already have that is the 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 young the young players we have when what can you call that the training with the young because we don't have a program where we train, train coach young players I don't think that is a problem. Well, we are looking. Not really. There's an academy. There's an academy, 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 there's an academy in the community, but it's a private thing. Oh, okay, okay. Is that well, a community academy at all? Okay. Well, that's one of the first thing you gotta do. Is, is get those youngsters yeah. organized, and you can groom them from an early, early age. But again, yes. it's gonna need management. It's gonna need organization. You know, because. We, we started last year with, with, with a tournament and we want okay. to make it an annual thing and, and try to establish a, 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 a youth league. You yes. Know, like, like, you know, you know, like an academy. Yes. So that, and, 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 and we, we, have, we have scheduled to have our second annual um, reunion this year as well. So, you know, we, 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 we're trying to beat the, the beat the bushes and and keep the the, the the word alive you know and 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 have some programs that the community can embrace you know yeah. yes I, 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 it's different it's different from from the early days when 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 owners were in the community and yeah. and families were being yes. developed yeah. you know yes. you, you that, had a, had yeah, more that, that's a big there. problem because the same struggle we have also where a lot of older people living out of you. So even with the first kick that we have, a lot of the youngsters them come from outside of you. You have yeah. uh, players coming from like Tivoli on it, maybe Pembroke, all over all over Jamaica. So them come to yeah. first. Yeah. Um. So when them reach the age, a lot of them stay and play minor league. But again, some club play pay more or whatever, and maybe go back to them community and play. So that's the struggle. We have a lot of time to keep them, even though we groom them on this. One we of the things them, that yeah. was, is um they have a lot of different tournaments and them present trophies and encourage them, get them involved in games so they understand how to play games and compete. Because I, I know um a couple of weeks ago, maybe about last month, I think, they had a, a big tournament there with the youngsters. And um, Clyde had sent me some pictures with some of the, the kids, them team, the winning teams and different age group and thing. So if they can get something like that off the ground and um, build build something from that, that may be an opportunity. Because as you say, you don't have nothing for bringing the youngsters them. And that may be one opportunity to bring them in. Hopefully them stay. Because that's a struggle, as, yeah. as I tell you with all of you, that we bring them in and have the first kick and them come from all over the place. Sometimes more be some of the people then come in, come because they want them young them yeah. kids to so play and learn. Yes, first okay. kick, yes, the football okay, club. Okay. Yeah. But do you still have a corner league competition? No, we don't have a corner league right now. The problem is the field. Oh, no. Because we are in the we are, because we are in the Premier League, the field have to be maintained, have to be passed by a yeah. for certain yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah. And if you open it up with corner league, you know, it's going to be this try to play every weekend. So that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. We were so you, you would need a secondary field. Yes. Rest. I know they were open to get somewhere else they could have played that, and a lot of people don't understand that, but that's the struggle we have. That is one yeah. field we have, and if we open it up to every little thing in our view, it's it gonna be destroyed and it's not gonna be it's gonna be decertified by the um the football but, power. Yeah. And there's no other and open that here. Funny. No, we were open down by the, the, the gypsum, the main road. There was a little open land, but I think them yeah. little houses down there or something like that. A new house and, and you know, and, and, it, and it's funny, it's part that that's that also is part of what stabbed football in the back in Pemaka because our our main field that we 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 call the Mecca. Mm -hmm. Um Kasafa eventually told us that it, the dimensions were not mm -hmm. regulation. That's okay, another that, thing. It was right, and that was it, it, it was kind of shaped like a, a triangle almost pointed yes. at one side. So yes. at yes. one end, the, the corner, the corner line from kicks were were shot. So we were forced to move 
football from the center of town over to the high school, to the secondary school, which became a high school. And so... You know, so in a, just not to cut, you don't own your own field. You don't have control over your own field. Not, not from a community standpoint. The, the school right. allows us because, of course, we, we you, know, you put in lights and you do things to yeah. support that, then they'll let you use the field. But okay. um, yeah. It, 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 it's, yeah. I, I, I want this advantage of moving the field apart from the park. The original field was in the center. I want mm. to move because of FIFA regulation and JSF are part of FIFA regulation. Yeah, if you yeah. move over the school and the school was close to the border, but I will have Mount Valley. Okay, okay, so, okay. So it was easy for Mount Cross the border. And, mm. and, and, and it was easier to put it away. Yeah. It was easier. Yeah, yeah. It was easier. And, 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 to start trouble. Yeah, man. And, and that was one of the reasons why Prumba God, I think, had to get politicized. But I, it, was okay. like, it was like even a choice in a sense. Look on the general. Look on the bigger picture. Yeah. That everything said the man and just want to become political. You know? It's like. If it didn't become political, from a guy that probably get over. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's what I see. So I have to give credit or credit to you in a part time. We want mm. to play football, but may I tell you, right. say, if, if we never have the want of a better word, the firepower for the fence, the community has certain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. Half of you never the politically <laughs> correct. Yeah. <laughs> Half of you never looked at them on the problem at all. They never near the ball and insulated in a way where, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's a, yeah. It makes a big difference, but it, it, what, that's why I look for them thing, and it's a bigger, it's not just a football thing, you know? It's not just a football thing, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a geopolitical yeah. thing where it affects Permacan in the most way where it never affects half of you at all. It never did affect half of you at all. Apart from the leadership, it it it, it, it wide ranging, wide ranging. But, but, but. It's surprising, you know? With work at you looking down and them and say. rock foot and rock foot rubbing shoulders with them. That's what I said with the repetition of work at you never have no problem from work at for time. No, because work at you, people never know if you go out of you, you see people live up on the hill, but them live basically out of you still. The work at people, they never come over this. You know? We used to go go play football up at Rena Clad, you play because they were in our zone. So we used to have to go up there and then, then stone, we see them where so <laughs> the dumper truck, them and things. But we never, we never um, have no problem when people have invaded the field or come over the hill. Yeah, again. Yeah, it's, Jared it's, Lane was that you're you're insulated from Jared Lane. Yeah, so yes, so yes. Well, you see, again, in the end, like the bad, I have you surrounded by bad as all about. Yeah. You see, me, I said, it, it, it protected in our way of field, but we, we weren't protected yeah. at all. Yeah, we yeah. were not protected at all. I tell you, I, I mean, when, 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 you, when, you, when you drive from that, that contamination, <laughs> yeah, when you drive on that road, cement company road, and come out of you, you are basically isolated. Exactly, you know, you that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Man, exactly. It's a hard for a man to walk or run, come over there, sir. But you're from a car that's like easy, one, two. Cross the boulevard and the bridge, all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it became yeah. it became touchy in the seventies in a promo car. Mm -hmm. It became very touchy in the seventies without a doubt. We grew up in other time and without the protection we had from um double PG, promo car I think would have got overrun a certain way. Yeah, okay. Promo car so, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. finish up. Go no, promo car remain safe. Mm -hmm. The football the football never manifests as me I love it, but promo car would remain a safe place. Anybody walk through from a guy because of that. I have to okay. give credit to a credit in you. I have to say it enough. I have to say it So, enough. in other words, where you said, I know you said Permacal was bothered by different. So, it's like one political party in a Permacal, and then the next border is another political party. And, and so, that was the problem? Well, not really, because Marvali is a split piece. Okay. You know, both, you, you, you have both JLP and PMP sections to it. Okay, okay. The JLP sections are marvel. They used to come into Pembroke. Well, that's because that's the side, that are the part closer to we. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. Okay. okay. And okay. they come out of Doreen Avenue and enter into Valley, a uh, labor right zone. So that. Uh, the green section of uh, uh, Marvel was close to Pembroke, and then down the Pembroke was strong, strong orange. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's a, okay. All right, I understand. You know the problem is yes, yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The, the, you couldn't. Okay. The bar. 
It was it the boss was, come on at ninth way. Yeah, proper God was to say I'm garrisoning up for a time. You know, the clerk of garrison, but it's like it's the same thing with our view. Yeah, we, we most of the people in there was was um I think Michael Manley did win over Right, people. right, right. Yeah, man, man, Joshua I, was. Yeah, we never have nobody from the other side that come and say, boy, this. Alan Isaacs won in Pembroke at that time. Alan Isaacs was, yeah. was, was the man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, at the time, you know, PNP seat the whole country, you know, 72. Oh, years. yes. That's, that's true. <laughs> During the FDS, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You have to hide it. You have to hide it, you know. But by, it, it became, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, as I say, you know, in the mid 70s, you know, because of the Cuban connection, that is when the saga dies, you know. I okay. think Jamaica became the epicenter of the Cold War, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Believe it yes. or not, you know, we're Russian yeah. and Cuban interests, and then the CIA come in. And mm -hmm. I just said, no stories written about that. And from a car, was in at the middle of that. We don't, whether we like this or not. Whether we like this. Uh -huh. okay. some, some, of close, some of our close brethren then went to Cuba for brigadist training and all them. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay, 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 okay. That's so cool. Some some of them are play a scrimmage for the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> them just them just miss for a while. Them gonna go train. <laughs> them just miss it. Yes, them gonna go train. Right, right, <laughs> right. So it's not like we don't know enough at time. We know connection yeah. and we know and I never get credit for credit to you. Me not they have a bash nobody at time. As I said, that was what and that is how it manifests itself. So Okay, okay. So after 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 the time the contract with Bibi now, did that change thing I have a view in terms of that say when I have we have some cash for spending, I know. As one yeah, time, it, 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 have to take cash for care. Yeah, <laughs> finan financially, I think it did. You're help a prime out, minister. Uh, we, we, we were able to at least work on the field and, and look after them. We, we, I think some of the money we invest, there was some Ponzi scheme during them time there. You know, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. So we, get burned, we get burned with that too, you know. All in. We did invest in that, but. The, some of the money came in and the German helping the field and helping the club to move forward with, with where we wanted it. So it was very helpful, yes. It was mm -hmm. very helpful at those points. And all of them time, it was all half of you, man, around this. All half of you, man, yes. Wouldn't, all of you, wouldn't you, never man. think, say, I wouldn't get money and I wouldn't bring in a foreign coach and all of it. That's never necessary. We were brought, I don't remember if we were, we were bringing consultants, but I don't think we are bringing any foreign coach. I don't remember. I don't remember a foreign coach coming because... When, when we were going up, Derek Golden um, <clears throat> started out as a coach, then Jumpy take over. Jumpy did retire or resign. DV start coaching, and then DV start playing again. I was a technical director. I was bringing Jackie Walters. And, you know, so I, I don't remember. We never, at that time, we never bring in a foreign coach. We, we, only local people we use. Mm -hmm. Only local people. Had. And we, we started to bring up because. The, the youngster now that coaching the, the team, Ber, Ludlow Bernard and Coach Arborview, to, and I mean, in Coach Arborview and Jump, and now uh, we call it Casey, mm -hmm. the manager. He, when, when I leave, I was in charge of the minor league team, and I brought him in as my assistant mm -hmm. because he was coaching one of them corner league team or as a youngster over the river, over the other side, as they been call it. Mm -hmm. And you know, we saw his talent. I brought him in as my, my, my assistant. So when I left, he took over and, and him just grew from there. Mm -hmm. Groom them early. So what, what sort of support did you get from the community these days? Because early I mentioned that most of the original one of them, nothing have a view no more. Yeah. In terms of saying, I suppose maybe I will have absentee owner. Because the owner and the migrant is out there said it. Our second generation have a view resident that live there now. What sort of support do I get from the community? Well, the support has dropped off tremendously. We don't have the type of support we had that we had in the 70s. Because as I said, during the 70s, we had motorcades, backer drive, everybody. If it's even one back them out of the gate uh, and that year, whatever funds them have with them a gear for help, help the team. So in terms of support right now, the older people who grew up there from the 70s may still be there, but some of them at the age, you know, them now want to come out for watching a football game or anything like that. So the support is limited in terms of that. Well, so that, I think all of that is tied into the times we're in, you know, like it's a different time we're in, because you see now the 70s and so, well, it's a lot of things we don't have our have now mm -hmm. for this track, we have for pull our money in the next direction. It, it's like what yeah, yeah, Andre said, every Sunday, all the your man is Sunday corner league. You just dine for 10 o'clock Sunday morning, come, and you're gone down on the field. 
No man, no, I think that no. It's just like all the money I say right now. I remember call the youth them now playing a ball. The youth them lock up in them house. I, I play a video game and then video game, game, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the internet, the internet to me is a, a, and Lance will tell you this. Can I tell him all the while? It a, to me it has done more harm to humanity more than good. More damage, you think? Yeah, man. <laughs> That might be a in, strong terms, in terms of the development <laughs> of some of the youngsters, yes, it, it has in terms yeah. of that. Because they're not, not supposed to be able to do that. Socializing. Yeah. If you see a bunch of young, youngsters right now in a bar, a lounge, whatever, you know them are communicate to each other by them phone. It's <laughs> true. Because my, my granddaughter, I may mean, talk to no, her. No, I'm not. Tell him. Remember, I said, 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 I she not pay me as her friend, them she talked and she dip on the phone. She not talking for that text, them a text, not talking. I text, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, them a DM, DM, DM or Instagram. Yeah, whatever them boy, but... But, 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 People get to meet each other from mm. all parts of the world that would not have had an opportunity to do so before much of this was... was right, was that when not have had a good luck come on talking about, to me, it has, has, has to me a great identity. Yeah, 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 identify yourself. Yeah, identify yourself as a Luddite. Listen, technology yeah. have a always come feel, right? And a Luddite. Tell you, listen, listen to me. <laughs> what John Moore said, you see you, <laughs> you, you remember I said, yeah, I like them, you know, you're weak. That's why I see the no, scientists no, can no, rock no, your feet. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me make no. my point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Hold on. Finger. No, Phil, let me make the point. Ever since, man, come out of the stone age with technology, and the first technology probably make was fire everything what man make is a good servant and a bad master a, a man of a is in a weight field and we have to learn yeah. and my question to fata is you know because that's what i have to question earlier and is like what is support like how you think a community football like a survivor go forward in the internet age that is a challenge for all both you know yeah yeah it, it's gonna be difficult yeah, the, the community football basically is going to struggle because the, the people in the community, especially in Jamaica right now, you have places like, I'm going to use the United States as an example. You have places in the United States of mother, father, sister, brother, and generation where, where people, like, as I mentioned, um, New England Patriot football, that type of football. You have generation where them pass on them ticket up to them picnic all the way. In in yes. our community, foot, in our football community, we don't have that. You know, people. But I hear me. I try to tell it. And things. So it it hard. I think what what we hold it together is money. If money not there, we got the players them looking towards money. If you can play a player, the better player they can come. Them do have the liars. You know, my days, me never get no pay for all of you. We get a pat on the back. It's high, it's high and high guns. And me satisfied with that that. But nowadays these players are professionals. I used to, I used to, let me give you a story. I used to, I had a contract when all of you won man, uh, Major League the first year. I got a contract with Coca-Cola Buckling Company to coach Daniel Quarry High School. I used to go to work six o'clock in the morning out of Spanish town, the Coca-Cola Buckling Company, and leave there at 12 to go back home and coach Daniel Quarry High School. And then I had my training at five o'clock. No. It wasn't a big, big money. It was a good contract. It was all right. But nowadays, if, if you attack players, not going to do that. Players, if you give them a contract, you ain't give them to play football. That's so they're not going to travel 6 o'clock in the morning if you go work and then train. And, and no. So it's, it's no. money going to talk. The more you can pay a player, the longer and, 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 and better the team is going to be. And that's the struggle right now. It's to motivate but, the players and encourage them but, to stay. But you see, a lot of it to me is culture to cause. If you look on England, <laughs> the stadium them ram same way and the people them not play with the football. Right. You see what I say? Yeah. And it comes that... right, Jerry. But but it's just like it's just like what Mikey I said. It's something where you have to pass down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and there's a lot of money in that as well, yeah, which is yes, what Pat yeah. was saying too. Yeah, yeah but so me I talk about part. the person. Me, but yeah, but me I talk about oh, the passion with the people. Have. Look, man. Yes, terms of right now, all of you it's scanty. You're not going to see that every generation coming want to support man you Liverpool, even division one, division two, you know, matter the championship, I mean, wherever level. But, 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 but what are the fans? The fan base for all of them club there, wider worldwide and in England. You know? Because they because they establish the product and market it very well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, money. Marketing yeah. is key. Oh, you know, oh, I told you that this one morning one when we were discussing a certain to topic, go, you know. Well, I, well, I'm here for that. Yeah. Yeah, well, now, one of the benefits to go back to, as I said, the community, them people, if, if you live in Manchester, you're not going away. Unless you get a big job uh, down in London, Manchester. Me have my picnic and four picnic, the four picnic them grow up and them grand picnic. Everybody living in the same area, Manchester. You know, so that grew up if the family love love Liverpool or Manchester United City, everybody grew up. That are them team, that are them team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Find parents with whole old grandfather and grand picnic them there with them, that's with them team. But as I say in Jamaica, <coughs> all the I politics will do that for. Yeah, the people play them. Uh, move out and gone somewhere they might have moved up town or them migrate me, me. i had guns now yeah yeah the yeah. money the mo i bet the internet technology they have to stay field and new technology yeah. will come whether i like this or no everything we'll know that every day, technology we'll get, caught, we'll we'll get caught up in it and i'm bad man let me ask what i have question another political question this one i might touch why mm -hmm. have <laughs> why have you never take over the jamaica football federation and run it professional like we need. Yeah, yeah, forget elected, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even this year, even this year, Carvel, no, God. The, the challenger Carvel was on the challenger side. But where you find yeah. how it worked, the parishes, the, the JFF, the it's like yeah, it's mm -hmm. like it's like a politician know where they, them give that, that that the person who run the parish the certain money or give them so one this and that. So it, it, it basically buy them vote. So that happening yeah. in this too, you know. So, uh, so the delegates them a football. That's exactly what. And you buy off a delegate, even if them see the football and are run white, they might get the money. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, up, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. a lot of them not in it for the benefit of the football, the development of football. The money, yeah. They, they're they're the money, they're the And if JF have the purse string and JF can give them the money, they for do this or do that. Uh, the, the, so you know, because even with all the struggles where the football, football association with the girls and the boys and things, them still get voted back in. Yeah, yeah, yes. But uh, yeah, let, let, let me ask a different question. Let me ask it, that's <coughs> different frame of frame of question. After Jamaica reached the World Cup in the nineties, did you expect that Jamaica football would have developed further, or were you are you not surprised that the football has not taken off since ninety eight? I, I, am I, I didn't expect it to take off fully to the level it was, but at least it should have, have, have matured a lot much better. You know, it, it should not fall off to the level it, it, it fall off after the World Cup. And where do you think of that? The management structure again. You know, they, they get rid of one coach so they never have a consistent bit. After the one, they, 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 yeah, they basically abandoned the plan they had. They, even though they, they got to the World Cup, they should have had a five or ten year plan and they never have that. What you find is everybody for himself, Borel and him is only a plan for him things and this man have that. So it's not there was no plan to develop the youngsters them and grow. Because in my days, you know, you never have Jamaica have under 17, Jamaica have under 20, Jamaica have under 23 now. In my days, you, you, you play for the under 19 team or you play for the national team and games were limited. Yeah. We never play for no qualification for World Cup. You may get an Olympic game and whoever win the Olympic in our region maybe qualify. So we never so you get a one practice match a team, you know, during the winter, leave the cold and then walk and play. Jamaica may play them. So these youngsters now, fortunately with them have under 20, 23, 21, all the different age group. And that is where them need to develop those youngsters. Have a core group of youngsters and build them, build them, make them work as a team. Grow them, you know. You can identify who have talent from Manning Cup and them tw under 20, under 23, and all them things. And them will play different competition. But you find that it's just splinter, you know. People go their own way, and you don't have a 
you, you need to have a technical director and say, okay, you see like Brazil, I can close my eye and tell you how oh, Brazil is going to play. They're going to pass the ball key possession. Mm. We need to have a technical director in Jamaica who come up, whatever system, I, I don't care, we right? Don't, uh, we, we need right. a system, is right. Yes, they need yeah. to come and say, this is the system Jamaica going to play with and then impart that to all the different coaches and the coaches yes. down, down the level, build the player, them, develop them with that system and we know that's Jamaica system. That's how they're going to play. Don't have that. And so, so you can step into... Yes. A senior team from, See, from yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. A junior player know the system come and step all the way because they know what is expected and roll to go. But we don't have that. A couple of years from now, them fire this coach him coming with long ball, the next coach coming with short ball, the next one, whatever. So each each coach going coming with his own system. You, th you, you think the quality of players are the same thing? It's superior to the quality of players these days. In, in the, in, I, I have not seen all the players. The players nowadays are stronger, faster, and fitter. I know in, in, in my days, you had some talented youngsters, but they were not as fast. Some of them was not as fast. Alan Cole, I think, could have matched with anybody. Peter Mars yeah. has matched with anybody. Any player nowadays, you put him up against. You know, you had man like Castle, play jump pairs. When the man they kick the ball, you run out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but those were individual Herbert, players. God. Yeah. Ali McNabb and Ali McNabb. Oh, I was waiting for you this man. You <laughs> see, a di listen, that man was a danger. In terms yeah, of power, yeah, unbelievable power. So you, have some, uh, you have some very talented individuals. But nowadays, I think the players nowadays are, are stronger, faster, and, thing, and them getting more opportunities. But the problem is getting them together as a team. Putting them but together. you know, I'm not cut you. When we think the players today lack is ball intelligence, I yes. can't tell you that. I'm not see that in a day. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the players nowadays don't study the game. They don't know the game. They just have the raw talent. You're right. Yes, the raw talent. A lot of them, yeah. You're right. It's them. undeveloped um, yeah. talent. Yeah. No, them never. Them, these are different. These are different breed of players. Yeah. Different, different, yeah. different. different. And, and that's the disappointing thing. I just asked me the question earlier about the development for football. We have so many young, talented players that I think that with all the under this and under that, 23, 21, whatever, they, the, those players should have developed. So when them get to the national team, they, they, we're ahead. They know the game. They understand the game. They're seamless transition. The you need to cross it back. You need to cut it back here. Wall pass. All different type of them need to know them thing there. I don't think that is being coached at the lower level. Mm -hmm. I don't think no. that is being coached at the lower level. So when the players get up, they basically come on them own. Mm -hmm. You know, raw talent is what get them up to that level. Yeah. Let, let me ask you. And you know, for, yeah, for that, Andre, sorry, before you before you switch there, you know, just to, to piggyback on what you're saying from since the ninety eight World Cup. And I, I, I always like to mention that. We were in a zone with Croatia, uh, Argentina. Japan. And we are the only one. And Japan was the only one that didn't win a game in, in, in that tournament. But they have not missed the World Cup final since, and we have not been back. Yeah. Uh, I think two things with Japan is that <clears throat> I think the national, the, the, the country put money in the national team, and they apparently had a system. Right, right. Yeah. Jamaica don't have that. Plus, I, I don't think people are yes, investors or whatever business people don't put the money in the, in the, foot, the national team or the, the, the JFF don't get money from the government or whatever. So a lot of things are lacking. Japan patriotic, like our have a view, man. Yeah. Patriotic, and different yeah. factor. Yeah, you remember when Simo came in and, and and came up with with the adapter player program and. And 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 so private sector was, was involved and 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 we really saw some mileage from that, but yeah. like everything else, changes were sweeping changes were made, and and they didn't keep any of the 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 the, the, the um the policies that work that was moving the the, the engine forward, right. and so therefore this it stalled <laughs> and moved backward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna bring up another topic of part time to show you the difference between from a car and half of you again. It's about this conversation, but I contrast two community them. Half of you had a driving theater. Yes. From a car, also had one. They called Boulevard Driving. Right. That did not survive the early yes. 90s. Before the politics come in, that driving the closed down. When me, 
I got old enough to drive by driving theater. I have a view could have drive for. There was no yeah. boulevard driving. <clears throat> now you have to ask yourself, why did boulevard driving close down and I have a view driving did not? You follow me, I said to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that, <laughs> again, the well, one of the things, one of the things maybe is that we never have a lot of places for going on. Because when, when we leave practice sometimes, that's the first place you head up but over the driving, go watch a good movie and thing. But we never have a lot of places to drive to town. You may be downtown, you have all different different um, clubs or where, where, where you are. Some options, that's the problem. More options. Yeah, and have more options. That maybe was the problem. No, fact, I have been politically correct. Driving couldn't survive financially. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Jelly, that, to me, all of this is up to management. The failure of success no, of failure. anything is up to no, management. No, you had a lot of eyes viewing the movie, but there was not a lot of funds generated <laughs> from. Right. We, uh, who's responsible for that? <laughs> No, the listen, it's like you, listen, it's like you keep a party and two other, most of the people, my friend, you're not going to charge them for coming and you give the liquor to them. Bill, what me I say? Listen, before, before, remember when dance hall used to keep dance hall in the five years and six years and seven. Remember, we, before, yeah, man, before... red flavor wine, red flavor yeah. wine. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to be able to pay the wall with red flavor wine, Bill. That's what, yeah, two red flavor wine for five dollars. And I have a few driving where I go from because Boulevard driving did not survive. I'm going to leave it right there, because it never survived. Did not survive for time. It's a big difference that. And the question mark of asks why it didn't survive. And I have a few one did fail. You follow me? I said to you. Ah, yeah, but eh? all of them need them demise now because of technology. Yeah, yeah. That, no, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, have a few driving is now storage for the, the Chinese construction people. Them, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that great? Yeah, man. Well, all of them are take over co the country, you know. Yeah. So, Donald Quarry's part, I have a few. Donald Quarry secondary? Yeah, man. Okay. Donald Quarry's yeah, It's right. It, it's, it's before, if you're coming from downtown yeah and you drive on the main road before you get to the bridge donald quarry is right out on, on, on the right hand side yeah 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 right hand side you're right. right so before you get over the bridge to the other part of and, really that, and that name see that great jamaican was a half of you man too donald quarry yes said. yes, yes. 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 drive yes. Yeah. yeah and he used to for the other drive yeah. yeah eddie quarry donald quarry wilmot quarry errol quarry what are they you see, the man knew him community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We, we, we used to have, we used to have our own little Olympics on the road, you know. We used to run round the road and then we come back, you jump on a bicycle, you ride a bicycle. A man used to set up hurdles or tire things on them fence and set up hurdles. And we used to have our own champs, man, or track meet. Well, as so, we, as we, 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 we have to known entertainment because it's too far yeah. from town. Yes, there you go. <laughs> them, them, <laughs> are, them are forget creative. And yeah, you yeah. Them know that and one too. you can stay a poor more and the next you they are above you and them challenge each other over the internet. <laughs> and with a video too. game. And as part of them couldn't go a bull be going a social or port trial because those are <laughs> well bull be a war is a very outside, warm climate. Outside of them zone, outside of them zone. Yeah. So, so well, that is like we going to Marvel. Eh? Yeah, same ah. way, same way. <laughs> but it's a fire. It's far. You see, a far walk for him. For a bull be a rock yeah. foot or what Renner Glad has him say. It, it's not an easy stretch. Yeah. Just out of the way. Just out through yeah. it. I, I say, if we walk too far to the east or to the west, I promise call. We're in a different zone completely. It make a difference for that. But we're going to, we 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 get robbed in Pembrokeal if you if you're on the board of the community. <laughs> you get robbed in your own community. But that, the man them that come over, a, come pray on us in our, our community. But yeah. that was a good thing about our of you know. Me used to walk on the street at and dark. I mean, I walk late at night. I mean, we can't see my own hand. And I'm on say, oh, hold on, but I. I mean, say yes. Me no know who uh, ta call me. Mm -hmm. Someone just I, yeah. I never recognize me. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. is we, we are that we are that up until the mid seventies. Yeah, man, you feel up safe. until the mid seventies we are that. I don't think know. I would do that now. So so no, have, no, yeah, no, no, you probably couldn't get that chance enough for time. No, that was good there. Let me ask another question about but uh, and uh, did, did all of you just have what kind of bedroom them have? Just uh, two bedroom or uh, three bedroom? How did it go? And two. You have different as two. You have two and three bedrooms. Ah, same thing like Pembroke. 
yeah. And it was a different the three bedroom room did a different place or them interspersed between one another. Them interspersed between one another. The, 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 sometimes them different people. But remember, Arborview was fabricated homes, you know. They build them and bring them there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, it, oh, it was it was Matalan. Matala, yeah, Matalan. Half of you be like oh. a prop, like what doing the power house and build prefabricated. I like Mona. Yeah. Mona, yeah, yeah. 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 No, yeah. from McCall was another special case of that. But I, I yeah. don't I don't think no other wall in the world build that stuff at from McCall wall. But the thing with half of you house in them hold the heat and them hold the coal. Yeah, yeah. When it's hot, half of you house them hold it, man. And when it's cold. Still cold. I know the proper girl was prefabricated, prefabricated, but I know the brick then. Mm. It wasn't as thin as the one that I have of you are doing it. Pop. It was like oh, okay. the size of the brick, the manager was a six inch, a six inch, and maybe I have of you on the three inch or four inch. I don't know. It was, you couldn't drill a wall. You couldn't drill no wall. I have a proper girl for that. Enough, eh? enough drill a brick and nail a hammer brick. Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you said you couldn't hang a picture. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to, another difference that you say a while ago know, you know, it's like from a car at two and three bedroom, you know. But it okay. was segregated. And long afterwards we realized that you know, enough money one that had to start the program, you know. You had a three bedroom up on one side and them there would drove and say uptown from a car. And they have the two bedrooms on the bottom. <laughs> you have to have oh, up, you okay. never have the differentiation there at all. Oh, no, no. That's what make a difference. That's what make a difference. It, it never made a difference to the promo card, but initially, that's the lucky case. Guys, you have three bedroom and two bedroom rivalry early in a promo card. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what was it like apart from the football for time, which was everything in it? What was it like a group in Arbaview apart from the football? It was, it was like a, a family man because, well, it, it, I, I talked to a lot of people and I tell them, boy, that's Jamaica style because I used to go out of your school. If I get in a trouble out of you school, I never have no cell phone. My parents never have no home phone at them time. But when I come home, them know that so I get in a trouble. Mm -hmm. I know me know how they put <laughs> I don't know if I smoke signal or what. And them, them days there, when you come home, there, if your neighbor see you do something wrong and clap your butt, you know, but I go home and tell your parents, you know, nowadays they go back and tell your parents them sue one another. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah. You know, the neighbor look out for you, man. Me used to get up some morning and just go over DV house and sit down there and we, they, they talk and talk. And me see her, see me, she fix breakfast. And we sit all the way sit down and eat, eat breakfast. We see if they go to somebody else's house and you see it's just like a family, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like a family, man. We all we grow up and know one another, and parents know one another and all that, you know? You call him name a couple of times, it's still about DV. Yeah, man, DV, DV. They live up in, in the States, man. They live up. Up in um, I think Maryland area. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, this is a wonderful conversation. But uh, we they talk over two hours. Believe you me, and I don't yeah, think Phil and Andrew have any more pressing question. They want to ask for because over two hours, and I don't know. Well, me have work for God tomorrow morning, but we're not on a limit or none. But <laughs> unless <laughs> unless what I think they will leave off anything, we think we want here or Phil and Andrew have any question. But they want to ask what I well if, if answer my main question and as I say, my seat why Premba card never take it to the next level. And his vision, dedication, and loyalty. Yeah, yeah. That 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 that, that I can I you can't... cannot start something like it's like when we say with JFF and the 98. You cannot start a program and say just gonna start a program. The program of have a vision you have yourself. It's like you open a shop in a bad neighborhood or a business. Eh? And you have to real money and you have to work. Guess what I'm gonna do? You're gonna put in five years or ten years or so. And my next step is to a middle class community. Like you wanna to get to a certain level, so you have a plan to get there. Remember yeah. call to me, and I think about what all of the man them say, the, the foundation from my man, it's like the man them just a them just want to play ball, so them just organize a thing. For our view, man, them is more than that. Them want it to be a launching pad, them want it to have a structure yes. where it can feed into creating an all-mark team for the community. Yeah. For go up on the national stage and perform well and make the community proud and sustain it. Let, let, let we me, never have them type of vision there. Let me ask a question, as Phil said, um, for Will 
Well, how oh, have you football club organized? Is it, it, does it belong to the community? Is it a private club? What kind of structure in place? It, it, right now, I think it's a private club. Uh, Carver Stewart is a chairman, Clyde Jardini on the board, Ludlow, I forgot some of the other people that's on the board. Um, we had to take it over. They had to take it over after a while because the community, part of it was, wasn't working, so they take it over and, 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 and um, got it registered that way. But but Carvel Stewart, who is the driving force behind it now as a, as a chairman, he started with Arborview Club. He's a foundation member, yeah, so yeah. he has seen a vision. Clyde grew up, even though Clyde started as a player like myself, he grew up in the community. So he still have the same, know the same vision. Ludlow Bernard came on as a young coach and he grew up in the community. So he grew up with the same vision. So whoever come and work around them, these guys had the vision to impart to these people so they know what they want and know where they want. That's what they expected. Yes. Yes. So it, it sounds like there's an expectation that yes. half of you will continue long after the money. After. Right. There's a succession plan. The, the only thing is that we, we need to bring in some younger younger um people as, as ma in a management team. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes that is difficult because yeah. everybody right now looking for themselves, they want to pay, they want is a football club. Exactly. So all that's going to pay. So that's a struggle right now where you find people like Carvel, Clyde, yeah. Ludlow, and other players, other people in there. But we need some young blood sometimes where we can impart the vision they have to them. And yeah. not only that, them can help you know, with what we in terms of getting to the younger generation. Yes. yes. You know, they know what makes them tick. You know, what will that what will draw their attention to the club. Yes. And and one important thing I think where the club need, need to move on, you mentioned technology. I think the, the football club at this stage gonna have to take that on to some level because you yeah, have a lot of people who grew up in Arborview who live in the States and if they can find a way they can maybe broadcast games or you know get but, like you, you mentioned you mentioned earlier like like Manchester United. They have yeah. supporters all over the world and the reason why is because they go out and cultivate that them go different each year when our season them go to different countries and you know encourage that so we need to find some way whether some young person ingenious person technology can go out and get the people them who's outside of Arborview in get them interested in Arborview community so you know that that right, is right exactly well, 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 well you, have a temp, exactly. you have a template that's in a part that's why we have to perform a garden right, and we're not right. young and we're not technically savvy we are <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, well, yeah, but you see, you just have to start and keep yeah, man, trying. Because, well, yeah. I, I'm surprised yeah. that half of you now simulcast the game. I don't know if I said that. I'm not real sad, but... Well, I think that, that, that I don't have half of you said do it, but Mr. Casa or JFF must own it at the Premier League. Right, them own the they, right, they broadcasting yeah. rights. Right, they do that. So I don't know if if Arborview if it, if it's, is a rights business whether why they can't do it, but I know it is simulcast some games in any way. All right, right. I, think, I think I think JFF probably own it. Well, set the it up with you know, you that. No, you know Premier Just... League. Own, Premier League own, them have a Premier League com, um Premier organization League. that yeah. the JFF, so they must own it. They have the rights to it. Yeah, maybe. Right, right, because ultimately, what you think? They want all the revenue for themselves. Yeah, man. <laughs> but you know, I just said, Michael I, just, I have seen, I've seen, even in the Premier League, I've seen some of the club them broadcast some games like highlights on YouTube, but not affiliated with the Premier League. But I, I have, some of you do have highlights on, on, on YouTube, some of the games on, on YouTube. Yeah. And Clyde, Clyde have a Facebook side where he posts every results, every updates, every, every day. Them post um things but, but you know what our view could do like make two broadcasting booth in other words you want to get more than one angle on the on the game mm -hmm. and the, because it's good for have recordings of the game to, to help with the coaching after the game and for yeah. future games and say so yeah. can pinpoint the players where they went wrong yeah, in order for to develop them yeah. game yeah if, if you're going to need a social media expert for take it on for time, for take it to the next generation, because that's, right. that's, that's, right. that's where it's going. As I said, the, the big club, they have better know down path where them find right. this worldwide, and all of them use a social media for
Exactly, and that's what I think is the next level of you need to get to, you know. Yeah, yeah, we don't have the foundation when we in Avatar. We are start from square one, but we, we have to go do it. Can't, so, so you think, say, I come into life from a call, we don't have, it not have to be in a football rivalry right, revitalized. But in mm. a sense, we are. You, do back, you, you put back certain things that the community will bring back, bring back, um, um, I didn't want to say that, but bring back attention to the community at certain age. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 in, that in terms of, well, that's what I tried with our, with our, with our, with our lifting life thing. It's to bring right. back attention. Our program. Yeah, our program, right. yeah. I mean, think that we go through the school and not necessarily the, 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 the Connelly community itself. That we go through the school. Then. It's hard to go through a Connelly competition. I mean, that's, and it have to be, Bisexual, it have to be more than it can't be just girl alone, boy alone, it have to be, and it can't be just football or soccer alone. Yeah, but I, yeah. it have to be everything. It have to be wide ranging and broad. That's what me see. So you you mentioned that you guys have a reunion. Oh, oh, how long you been doing your reunion now? I can't wait after that. Well, they, 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 they used to be a reunion for many years in New York, for time. Mm -hmm. But they're not affiliated with us. I'm back in the 80s, right? And it is is the Pembrokeal faithful, but it wasn't it wasn't an organization, you know. Like I said, the, 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 now that we have this um, Pembrokeal alumni lifting lives, it, it's it's a community based organization. So this is our second year um, doing this, and and you know one of the things that you mentioned, like needing to bring in youth in the in the leadership segment of, of, of the organization because you mentioned Arvel and those guys which is the beginning. Yeah break up Andre. Is that correct Fatai? Repeat, 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 repeat the question. Repeat, no. repeat Andre, go ahead, repeat. Come on about here. Yeah. Right. So I was saying that um you know Fatai mentioned Carvel and, and, and even Jerry Dini. But and those names were there from the inception of, yeah. of, of, of the of the whole program. Yeah. And and you know, so the need for, for young blood and, and that is where the challenge comes in because you know there's no longer that 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 stalwart community attachment. So anybody you may get talented young people who come in now, but they're not necessarily from the Harborview community or from the Pembroke community. Right, right. right. But the the goal is what is important. You know, once you go and accomplish the goal, regardless of where you come from, says so almost as if you know there have to be bylaws set in place that 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 certain benefits will go to the community so that it will still be recognized you know the activities of the organization will be still recognized within the community somehow benefiting you yeah. whatever the the, the, the um, altruistic yeah. 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 Um, whatever the altruistic right. yeah i'm not sure what's going on there but yeah, but that is basically the gist of it. Just the, getting the new people in, and 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 making it, giving some longevity to the program. Yeah, yeah this struggle we we always have with is, is the youngsters them taking over responsibility. Because our reunion, we have been doing it for 21 years. We started in 2003. We have a reunion and advisory committee, which we have president, vice president, directors, and all that. And this is. This year is going to be our 11th reunion. The people on the committee, including myself, getting older and we're trying to get young, young blood to do it. And it's a struggle to bring them, say, mm. for me, take it over. We have the, the blueprint. Here it is. Do, do what you want to do under the reunion. We just need to get together so people can enjoy memories and things like that. So that has always and that will continue to be the struggle because the, the young people them have their own ideas. And even my family reunion. The last time we, we meet with uh, the young people, we're going to take it to have the next one. And up to now, nothing will happen. You can't materialize. No. <laughs> you don't. You, 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 you mean, well, has the year been on since 2008, what I? Yes. Well, this year, right. Monday, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the young people, they won't step up. So you know, that's the struggle. It, it, it mean a different thing to yeah. them. That's not the problem. The, yeah, yeah. the, the, the reunion and the family thing look like it mean a different thing to them. It's a different 
different generation. No? Individualism, my friend, is greater now more than ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Andre, you don't have any questions for what time you think me leave out or any question at all? Where you think me put out it on? No, but you know, in fairness, it's not, it, this, these conversations is, is not strange between Fatai and myself. So it seems like <laughs> you know, it would be hard to pinpoint any particular thing. But you know, we have, we have, you know, I have, I have picked this brain on one on one basis over over the years and and and, and understood, you know, what what Harborview did that we didn't do. And so, and, I'm and so, so not to cut Andrea, but I don't know if Andre tell you about our family ties. No, leave that it that secret. <laughs> Maybe more we'll leave it behind the paid wall. <laughs> no, 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 man. It's not a we, paid wall. We, we, we went to a um a family reunion in a where the place, where the hotel name? The Grand. The Grand. Jamaica Grand. Grand. Jamaica Grand. <laughs> Yeah. So we sit down and my wife sit down and I talk and we say, Andre, because you went to school with, with, with my wife. So, so Andre, Andre, that. So we start talking to him. So what are you doing here? He said, well, my wife, a family reunion, you know. <laughs> Only my find out, say, me and his wife related, our cousins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're the man uh, a crash, a crash, the man a crash, my reunion, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And the same could be said for you, by yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're the world, small doer. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Say your wife in the background, the fat she don't want to come to high and, and, and show her face. Are she not ready? Oh, she, 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 she go excel, so you know, so she's shy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, you're not defend that. <laughs> she, she know what Andre say. No, no but it, it, it's my sister, it's my farm mate, you know. Yeah. Um, from, All right, Sarah, right. Sarah Wavey. Yeah, Sarah Wavey, that's Sarah Wavey, I understand, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aye. None of the KC spirit don't rub off on her. No, she grew up in that KC also. Go well, all her brother them got KC. I, and then she got married to a KC man. And for the record, oh, Fatai. So she has been what, around. What's her name, Fatai? For the record. Car Karen. 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 Her origin it was Karen Roberts. At, 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 at Excelsior. Okay, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So you have any secret where you think we never asked about Fatai where you want to tell you before we close out the program? <laughs> No, I think, think we cover everything, man. I, I say, when our view started out, we, we started out as a vision, you know, started as a family, you know, and majority of the players who came home and who started the, the organization as an um, executive, they were our age, growing up with us. We grew up together in our view, and we were almost all the same age. Some, some people may be five, ten years older. You know, so it was a family thing. And the main thing is that these guys had an idea. They know where they wanted us to go. They know where they wanted to take the team. Because as I say, from we young, we still and we used to dream. We watch football upon TV, English football. And you see the lights and the pretty stadium. And we all dream some boy one day if we can get a stadium like that. And eventually, yeah. some boy, <laughs> one day if we can make compound look like that with lights and things. Only to see. Eventually we get lights. We never dream so we'd get light. Mm -hmm. You know, the vision came through and, and 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 you just have to have that vision, people who are willing to stick with it. Fortunate for us got majority of um 90% of the people who started the club migrated. But fortunate for people like Carvel, mm -hmm. Clyde, and and those people stay there and they are part of the old foundation. So they know where where the vision and where the road. Mm -hmm. So they follow that path and stick with it and carry it through. So they have done a wonderful job keeping the club afloat and going going through growing it and making it, you know, into an international club as it is right now. As I say, the Arborview compound became the first. We were the first club in Jamaica to own our own field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the Caribbean, as a matter of fact. You know, yeah. so things like that we 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 we, we are proud of and we're we're glad for people like that uh, have a right. life. Those people right, and, so. and the ninety percent, the ninety percent that is that the other people will leave, they still come back and you know donate yeah. to the club in, in whatever yeah. way. Oh yes, them still come back. The the, re, the reunion a lot of times when we, when we do reunion, if we keep a little dance, a little money we get, we may 
get a club or get a school or a right. church, I think, whatever, people donate different things. We have successful youngsters who come up, lawyer, doctor, and things, and them give back yeah. to the community, you know. A matter of fact, nice. we have youngsters down there who are big businessmen now who help the club also. Mm -hmm. And they okay. grew up in the community. Mm -hmm. Right. You find that that is there. And, and one of the things that, that, that I think is important is, is to incorporate, you know, right now you have youngsters who play but you need to bring back some of the older players to and may help them in part and make them sh talk to the youngsters and show them where they're coming from and what they can achieve. Yeah. Thing, you know, and that's very important. You know, so. A mentoring program, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. About how much people live out of you, this community side of the numbers. If you could, have, I don't know from the car, so I didn't, but I, I would have to guess. I, I don't, I see with me, I'd have to guess. I, I, I don't, don't have that in front of me. Yeah, yeah. How have you are classified as Kingston 17? If you remember, Kingston 17, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, how have you in, included, as I mentioned, you have over the river, whichever side you want to call over the river, yeah. they have Caribbean Terrace. And then now you have the people who live up on the hill, the new residents up on the hill, yeah. there, with the mansion, them up on the hill, they know they are. Yeah, the scammers. <laughs> people, you know. Yeah, no, no. Bruno, I always love how have you, because I reach how have you. You reach at the airport, they feel like they are foreign, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> All you need to do is go get on the plane. Yeah, yeah, they, they we know, right. we know, The Iron Brother left Jamaica, exactly. you have arrived. You reach at Harbour, yeah, people yeah. live at Harbour, so they're close to foreign, so I say, yeah, man, I right place mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, yeah. Oh. I always had my Harbour view from afar, man. So it was because, me all, and, and I'm not surprised in terms of the class of people come out of Harbour view. That's how you talk tonight and all the way, they just, Exhibit a woody for class and waiting him. And I say, Yeah, I'm glad you come on and come talk for time. I'm not surprised yeah. because half of you was like a sister coming to, to from because to me. Right. It's a matter okay. to you. I never grew up in a, I never knew half of you so good, but I know half of you people. And you right. know, I see a right. feeling get out of Prembuka. It's a family thing. Yes, yes. That's that's the key. That's the key word you mentioned. Yeah, it's a family thing. Yeah, you know? man, yeah, man. Everybody yes. knows everybody. Yeah, could I, you could have tell that from the level of support to the football program mm -hmm. get from day one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, man. Everybody and everybody are from Bacar, man. Everybody and everybody. The same thing now, man, because even when we have the <laughs> reunion, them, man, you, you talk about everybody go out of your school or them go St. Benedict's or, you know, mm -hmm. Excelsior, KC, George, is, you know, it's, it's like a family thing. And, you know, it, and not only the kids, them know one another, the parents, them know each other too, you know, because some of the parents, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, Arbor, exactly. they will move to Abbeville as young couples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work yes. together, you know. Mm -hmm. As we said, true community. So, so before we close though, Pata, any special memory why I leave us with our of you? I said, boy, your most special memory I have of you, remember? Apart from meeting uh -huh. your wife, you know, you know, forget that. That can't get. We... <laughs> <laughs> the special memory I remember when um the first the first year we won won um major league. And then block off the shopping center, you know. Mm -hmm. They had street dance out there. It was, that was very nice. And everybody come out. Everybody, people who never come at the game, all the people, everybody come out. As a matter of fact, we started out at um, my wife's house. Her, 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 her parents had hosted us, so that's where we went to uh, Reef Avenue. Mm -hmm. so her, her house, we, we go first to celebrate. You know, so you know, when I, when those when, when them call it when the team when a foreign field, them have a parade, yes, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. a ticket to your parade, <laughs> ticket to your parade, parade. Yeah, 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 that's a big thing. Whenever, whenever a privilege travel at a primary car, that, that was yeah, a big thing. When, when we won, I, I think, I think it was the second time we won, we shut off the shopping center with a street dance, yeah, a street yeah. dance with a lot of big, and then I read the shopping center now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that must have been special for time. I can't just imagine that that owner of the field board that yeah. car. Yeah. We never have that at all. We never have, we never have privilege to have that at Prembo car. We never have that. Right. That, right. We, never have, we never have that at all. That never manages at all. So, yeah. Anyway, before. So, any 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 particular closing remark, Andrea, before we close out the program as an idea? Yeah, man. I just want to give thanks to my brother for joining the conversation and sharing some of the insights. And it was a well-spent two and a half hours. I enjoyed it thoroughly. 
Yeah, man. Yes, yes. I appreciate you guys inviting me, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Fatai, it was a pleasure, man. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Phil. Sorry. No, I just want to thank the man for coming through, Michael, because we needed to hear this. Because I tell the man, him, my synopsis of everything in terms of why Prima Car never make it to the next level is just commitment and dedication and loyalty, like love, true love for the community. And in some parts, I think, like I said, it's primarily because uh, the man them just said they want to play ball. It's not like there was no vision. It wasn't like them them did a do it with a with an intention from build something that could go beyond them and succeed. It was more for the, the moment. We want to play yeah. some ball now. We could do a thing. Yeah. And it was so much. It was so many of them, as them said, that's really how the Canada League got started. You know, it's like you go on the field and the field can only take 22 man and 50 man there. Yeah. So you have to get creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I think we'll never have that love. We'll never have that true love for, for the community. The, the, well, them man there because if them did, may I tell you, I feel like my car could have at least win major league. Easily, even three three times. Easily. Look yeah, I'm, ah. Look what I found it. But I want to tell you before you before you big me have told you remark what I I want to tell you something is early when we recognize the dif, big difference to me feel. And what I say, I'm saying to the man them say, I'm gonna call him home. Right. That's a big difference. <laughs> and the man that came home. Yes. And then, but no, the club they never hesitate. Yeah, I don't hear him say that one man, not one man him say him have to really sit down and talk to him get him to be. And all them a big man. Right, right after the bat, right after the bat, them agree. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody from the first word come out, we will do one thing. Everybody come out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Everybody was on board. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and that speaks volumes in terms of. Oh, true of a community it was. Yeah, man, that 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 was that was where it named them, man. That was a big difference in terms of from the get go. It's like the man in the harbor view, football, I say, are always and you have a bit to itself. And yeah. as I say, the, the, the complexity involved with the contrasting success of both community is multidimensional because as I say, from Carl and Harbor View, geography, geographic location was make a big difference. Made a big difference. Yeah. Abba yeah. was insulated and Primbacal was not. Primbacal and, was... and that, that may be one of the things that help us also, you know, yeah, when man. we come up here, we, we, we know this is our own. We know if we go yeah, over right. that it, fence. It, it, here, you know? yeah. It's almost like going to feel like I'm going to more than anybody else because you know, yeah. you don't have enough words to go. No. You follow me? So, in, in a sense, feeling at home was easier for the Abba view people, I mean. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to know the lesson. The next, the closest I just hear. It's like I'm there on an island. Yeah. <laughs> I like the Vatican feel a city state, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so careful now. Fata, any closing remark before I close out the program, yeah. Well, I, I, I appreciate you guys bringing me in and I enjoy this going down memory lane and some of the things. But the, the thing I want to share is that, you know, I know you you, you mentioned that um Pembrokeal of different borders or boundaries. But I think one, one of the things you have to start with is the youth. And if you can get those, those youngsters involved where you can organize them and them can see, have a vision, sit down first and plan out something. So, boy, this is where you want to go from A, B, C, D. And them see you making small steps, but them see where the progress is and see where you can go down the road. You know, hopefully they will stick with Primbrickal and, and come back in and thing because I know that that was one of the things with all of you, you know. Everybody, everybody that, that, that was involved in that club knew where we wanted to go. And I said, one of the first things Piggy said was that, give us three years. And we worked towards that. And we were successful three years after three years. We won the major league, you know, one minor league, yeah. major league and things. So a little luck was involved, but we worked hard for that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to have a vision and you, you stick with it and make sure the commitment is there from the players where they can. You're gonna have find people who don't believe if them don't see this or them don't see that, you know. But if if you can 
stay the road, stay the path and show them some boy. It may be a small step, maybe a baby step, you know. Hopefully they must stay with it. It may be a little more difficult this time because, as you said, the youngsters, them nowadays completely different. They have so many different things pulling them left and right. You know, they have all different type of technology and things pulling them left and right. But you know, I feel that if you can show them the growth or where you plan to go, it it will be a little bit easier for, for convince them to stay stay on, 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 and and follow the road, you know. And, and but I think you guys you guys doing a good job. Our view and the permacal community very similar. And as I mentioned, we have been doing our reunion for 21 years, and it, it makes it it all oh, the people them that come out and support us at those reunion man. It, it means a lot. So you know things like that is good to get back the community together. Get back the spirit. I know majority of us, me and some of you, uh, are, and I call here, live in the states. So you know, yeah. it's a different world when when you live in Jamaica compared to where you live up here. But if you can get back that memory and the people who you grew up with and, and show them where you wanted or what you're trying to do, you may get more people on board to help you. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. cool. share, that, share that vision. You know, and this like a podcast should, should be helpful if you spread the word with. With um, the permacal folks, you may find somebody who never know what you're trying to do. I don't know what you're trying to do. But if you use this podcast to explain it and show them the vision and explain where you want to go, how you want to get there, how you plan to get there, you know, you may get more people jump on board and volunteer to help you. I don't, I don't, but, uh, yeah, we have been get we have been getting some traction with it, definitely. Good, good, good. Yeah, good, definitely. good, good, good. I don't, I don't, because it, as I say, I, in a, for sum it up, in the end. Inspired leadership make a big difference. Yes. It made yes. a big it made a big difference when West Indies cricket team dominate in the 80s and when they dominate, we didn't nothing dominate, we didn't compete. Yep. Since the drop off of the ladder from them time. Eh? And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we didn't have the chart when come to the like we didn't enter. No, no, I don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inspired leadership make a big difference for that. Make a leadership in a sports, it make a leadership in a Country when you look on a country like Singapore, the inspired leadership make a big difference. I don't care yes, man what I say. Yes. And, yes. And, and sometimes you're blessed with good leaders in a community, mm. in a country, in a team. And the results show. Yeah. Sometimes it's just, you know, pick so it's, I, I tell people I you know, pick your parents, I know pick a leader and sometimes. And that's where you get sometimes. And that's where you end up sometimes. So sometimes I luck. Luck have a holy for it. But I have you who look like they were lucky if you have and inspire yeah, set of yeah. young leaders, but take it on and take it to a level where definitely going to live the legacy. And, and and every member of that core, core group was, were committed. Right, right, committed. right, right. I, I right. can tell you different stories about people who go places and people give up and care them, them decide to yeah. do this. And you, know, and, you know, it was a commitment. It was a commitment and a dedication that everybody yeah, believed in yeah, the yeah. journey and everybody yeah, sticking yeah, 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 yeah. And, and as Phil said, it's more than a sell more place of good football. Yeah. The commitment yeah. was larger than that, man. It's what we want to build a legacy and a team yes. Yes. about 50 years later. And it, it, yeah. it has worked. That worked for time. Yeah. When I started in yeah. 74, and this year I'm 50 or 40 years. May I say it right? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 years. 50 years. Right, right. So it makes a big difference, man. Yeah. When you get yeah. blessed with the leadership, where yes. it, it never yes. looks like from a girl have that leadership at all or manifest that way. It just, it just never show. It never show. No criticism yeah. to not probably God people I hear this, but I just the facts will show me at all about. I'm facts on the ground me at all about. Nothing mm -hmm. political Phil. Not facts on the ground. Anyway, Michael Fatai yes, Thompson. Sir. It yes. has been a pleasure. Yes. Andre Taylor Danville and Phil Enne. It has been a real pleasure for the conversation here tonight. I always I try to wonder what the difference between Prima Carl and Ava View. I know we have the receipts. Anybody want to ask them, can come listen to them conversation uh, and listen from the man who was on a foundation part of our view as a team member and, and as the executive later on and still intimately involved in our view community and football. So it has been a great pleasure. And as we yeah. always end the program here uh, for tired, when you do a promo call in Bobby Fire Court Team, Bobby Fire used to say, on the ball, promo call. Oh, <laughs> All right, great. I, I, I hope that we can get from a call from the ball again. That's all we can do for time. We can, we can, yeah, say, we can bring yes, back from yeah. a call from the ball. That's all we try to rally. You know, say we can inspire some people for come forward and say, yeah, man, we can do. We don't know what, what we know what we want to contribute back a certain way. 
And don't most yeah. of them football. It do, we not, yeah. Limit yourself is not football. That's why I have a redevelopment so, thing. Community, yeah, man, right. exactly. For build back the vibes of the community at certain. Yeah. Yeah. That's all yeah. the thing. So it has been a pleasure, my brother. I think it's one and a half hour yeah. tonight. And I'm glad I, I'm glad that Andre made a connection with another Excel story and yeah. That's it. Where did came from behind the pier wall? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last step forward and come and come yeah. forward, my brother. Have a uh, good night. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, greeting, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Greeting. Thank you. Thank you for your yeah, Bless, blessings, my brother. Yeah, man. Gentlemen, have a blessed night. Paul Phil, yeah. What's yeah, up? Good night. Bless yeah, all right. Yeah, man. Paul. <laughs>